Hello everyone and peace of Christ to all of you. Please invite your friends and let us have some good time together. The news today is about Israel and all of you, you are watching and see what's happening. So today we will give you an idea about what's happening and before we start, we want to watch a short movie or a video. So this is a video by the IDF, which is the Islamic Defense Forces. It's a reminder that the one who started the attack, it was Hamas. It was them who launched missiles. And now all the world is asking Israel to stop. <laughs> I mean, the world is so stupid. And the media is so corrupt and so hypocrite. And I mean, garbage in, garbage out. I want to say to all those who say to Israel, stop. Hey, sons of Muta. Did you ask yourself who is the first one who fired the first missile? Oh, not the first one. Let us say the first hundred missiles. Oh no no, not the first hundred. The first two hundred. Oh no 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 no, the first three hundred. <laughs> so you know they are they are bombing civilian brother, brother and sister. They are bombing civilian Abdul. It is you who is bombing civilian. You send your missile not in the army. You send it over cities, brother and sister. Today we are going with Nathan to the fight, and those Israeli they are attacking with him. Look what, Zakanayak, hold on. It is you Muslims attacking Israel. It's not the opposite. Brother and sister, what's wrong with those people? But we have very exciting news anyway. Uh, I mean, those Israeli are very disgusting. Oh, hold on. Those are not a Hamas firing over Israel. This is firework, okay? They are firework, and we played them in the Eid. It is Eid, hello? It is the end of Ramadan. And we were not shooting at the Israeli uh, civilian, because in Israel there's no civilian anyway. Like, hello? It, uh, what? Brothers and sisters, they are attacking us. Aggression, disgusting Israel. What? Hold on, this missile is fake. This is was a watermelon, and they put a fire inside it, and Hamas they throw it at the Israeli just for fun. You see. The, the watermelon fell down in the middle of the street between, look, this guy is wearing short, and you see this woman, she is blonde. And as long as they are blonde, it's okay, they can handle it. You know, blonde people, they can handle watermelon. I mean, all of us, we knew. Actually, there's a, there's a, there's a celebration in Italy, they throw watermelon at each other. <laughs> yeah, come on, we do, we believe it, you know. <laughs> so, Hamas is very, uh, we are victims, you know, we are Palestinian, we are, you know, we are the Israeli attacking us, you know, like, uh, but, do you see how everything in this earth is upside down? And imagine if Hamas then have the power of Israel, then what they will do to Israel? You see, all of us, we knew that Israel not only can finish them in two seconds, they can wipe them out of the earth. All of us, we knew that. So imagine how much patience the Israeli have when they have all the power they need, not only to make them not to exist, to send them to the moon. Yet, they don't respond in the way they do. They choose their target. And not only that, the government of Israel, before they, before they hit a building which have terrorists inside, 
They send a warning to the terrorists, leave, leave, because you have civilian with you, leave. I mean, what a stupid government. I don't know. I mean, uh, how do you want to find Hamas and you send them a warning? I mean, do you see how much they are careful about civilian? And then they say to you, do you know how many civilian die? Because they are under the civilian, what they can do? I mean, <laughs> but anyway, brothers and sisters, the good news is coming. The help is coming. Yes. I will tell you about what Erdogan would do. The caliphate, who saw a dream, he wanted to free Jerusalem. The prime minister of Pakistan, uh, I mean Pakistan. The king of Jordan, you know, I will, I will tell you all the news, just wait, let us watch this video and we will go there. Because they, are, they, are, they gave a warning to Israel, 24 hours warning, countdown. <laughs> Yeah, 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 come on, Israeli, come on. All of this is not a true. First of all, Israeli are what uh, are bulletproof citizen. All of us we knew. And, uh, uh, you know, genocide is not approved in Islam. This is why the Prophet, he killed only all the Jews in the Arabian Peninsula. Only. He did not kill all the Jews in the world. He killed only all the Jews in Arabian Peninsula. You see how beautiful the Prophet. However, uh, Erdogan, in the last few days, he keep coming in TV and talking about what he will do, what he will do. And Erdogan, he decided not to serve condoms to Israeli tourists when they come to Turkey. From now on, if you are Israeli, if you serve in the Mossad, and you want to go to the bar and you find a prostitute in Turkey, which is, you know, the, they asked the, the minister of Islam, why you don't close all the bars? And all the prostitution houses, the pimp houses, he said, if we close them, who will pay for your salary? If you don't believe me, go and search the news. If we close them, who will pay for your salary? So Erdogan, the caliphate, the good Muslim, who do sell 7 billion, between 5 to 7 billion every year of steel to Israel. Steel, you see the missiles they are shooting? This is coming from the steel of Turkey who have an embassy of Israel in Turkey, who have a three Mossad center, who have war agreement, who have Israeli training his army. And then he go on TV, he says, red line to Israel. I'm not going to give you, I told information now, all the, all the people in my people, my country, they will never give you condom. So if you do have sex in the, my country, you will give AIDS. Erdogan. You are a very, very aggressive person. Who is the caliphate? Who saw a dream? He want to go and free Jerusalem. Here we go. It's your chance. Just jump in it, man. Potato. But because they knew they are little tiny. Erdogan, he have no problem to attack Armenia, which is a weak country. You know, they, don't, they are not like Israel. Even though Armenia, by the way, they are more population than Israel. But because they don't have the power. So Israel, not the same. We attack Armenia, we attack the Kurdish, and look who is talking about protecting Muslims. Erdogan, number one killer for Muslims in Syria, in the Kurdistan, in, I mean, you name it. And not only that, they don't even allow Palestinians to come to their countries. Maybe none of you knows that all those who speak too much about supporting Palestinians, they don't give visas to Palestinians. I saw... Uh, I saw Lili Dawa video, uh, not to watch the video, but I saw the title. Lili Dawa, he posted a video, a video saying the, the, the speaker of uh, and the government of Kuwait, he said to the, to the uh, ambassador of uh, uh, Israel, get out, baby killer. Abdul, do you know that in Kuwait, they kicked out all the Palestinians of their country? Not even one stay in Kuwait because they betray Kuwait. Nobody welcome those people to their countries. And they claim yet they are supporting them. Not in Saudi Arabia, not in Kuwait, 
not in not in Bahrain. The only one who opened for them some visas is for the leaders. Is this is Qatar because they use them. Otherwise, all Islamic countries they don't welcome Palestinian. Starting from Egypt, they have a border with them. Like, did you ask yourself why the president of Egypt he closed the borders with Gaza? Why you closed the borders? What's wrong with you? Aren't you a Muslim leader? Because they are a Palestinian, and according to the Arab experience, they cause a lot of trouble. Hamas is the big terrorist organization, and all those Muslim countries are fighting them. So all the speeches you see, it's just a speeches in TV. The King of Jordan, actually, his family, they have a great history of killing Palestinians. If you search right now about something called the Black September, you will see how they slaughters thousands of those called Palestinian in Jordan with no mercy. The same person who now is speaking about defending the Palestinian, his father, he killed them as if they are chicken. This is the truth. Nobody will come them in their countries, but they speak so much about defending them and nobody defend them in reality. The King of Jordan, he threat, he threat Israel. He is not going to use Israel toilet paper no more. And the Israelis said to him, please, so what you will do with your people? Like, come on, are you serious? And this guy from time to time, he come with some images as if he is Rambo, supposedly. He wear uh, uh, like a, a uniform. Look at this guy. I mean, with my respect to short people, but this guy is not even five foot tall. And he is like, <clears throat> he, okay. Look at this picture, look at this picture. I mean, come on, the Israelis are doing pee-pee. Oh, I forget, Lily Dawa, she, he, she said that there's an Israeli soldier, he do pee, remembering what happened in, uh, because he was fighting Palestinians. <laughs> Lily Dawa, the one who pee is the one who keep talking about it in YouTube, he don't do jihad, you coward. All of you are potatoes. What is the Sheikh, uh, Sheikh, what does mean, Uth Uthman, Burka guy? Hey, do jihad, announce jihad in the middle of San Diego. Come on, come on, potato. What are you? What is the Mujahideen? You are good in uh, posting uh, pictures in YouTube and uniform and the uh, Sheikh and uh, and then we give five to David Wood who ate, uh, who ate, the, who ate the Quran. I mean, the guy, he ate the Quran and you gave him five. What if he did pee on it? What you would give him? All of them, they are heroes, but on, on, on TV. All of them, they have borders with Israel, but they learned their lesson last time. And by the way, the Muslims, they never lose. If you go and check the history of war between Israel and those called them Muslims, you will find that in every single war they lost, but according to Muslim, they won. <laughs> if you ask the Egyptian Muslims, do you remember in 1973, he says, brother, we destroy their defense. And then you ask him, okay, for how long? And what happened after? They called, they took all the, all the, all the, all the desert of Sinai. <laughs> we destroyed them, brother. It's true that we lost hundreds of thousands, you know, I mean, of uh, 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 distance and spaces, but it's okay. I mean, but we won, we won. At least we were able to uh, break a line. Yeah. <laughs> the same happened when they attack 1948-47. Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. And they gather supposed the Mujahideen from everywhere, from Saudi Arabia, from Jordan, from Syria, from Iraq, from Morocco, from Tunisia, you name it, Shishini, you name it. And then all of them, they attack, Allahu Akbar. And then they lost Jerusalem. And then what after that? They announced that they are victorious. They always victorious. Are you kidding me? They never lose. They never, never lose. 
and you will see soon they will announce victory on Israel. <laughs> but all of, us, all of us, we knew that if the Israeli army really want to destroy this uh, this territory, not only territory, I mean, many countries around them, they can make it vanish from the map. I mean, this is Israel who have the nuke for them is firework. The nuke in Israel is their firework. This is not their weapon. The major weapon in Israel is not nukes no more. Their weapon is beyond nukes. So all of us, we knew why those potatoes are watching and nobody dare even to fart. But on TV, all of them, they flood us with their farting. Allahu Akbar, we are going, we warn Israel. And I like it when Erdogan, he says we warn Israel in the same time. <laughs> His government published report that in the uh, in the worst relationship with Israel, our trade business is in the top. <laughs> he come with Jordan. You know, I like you honestly. I mean, you are the only hero we can depend on. Especially, you are from the grandsons of the Prophet Muhammad, and this is explained why you are very corrupt and you are a, a, a puppy of the CIA. What about you do this, okay? Breastfeeding for adult. I mean, the prophet, he said, if you want to stop any aggression of a man against you, like you are a female, uh, you know, do breastfeeding for... What, 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 what a genius prophet. I mean, this prophet is so good. Who come with such a teaching, breastfeeding for adult, except a prophet of Allah? And as long as you are his grandson, do something like this, something revolutionary. Oh, hold on. The king of Saudi Arabia, not the king, actually, the, the one who, the ambassador. Let us show you what Saudi Arabia said. Last news. <laughs> Saudi Arabia is number one country helping Israel in giving information. <laughs> Saudi Arabian condemn Israel for flagrant violence in Gaza. That's deep. That's very deep. You condemn? Are you sure you are not a relative for Johnny Glode Van Damme? <laughs> we condemn, brother. We condemn. In the same time, they meet Netanyahu in secret. And they have many officials of the Mossad come into Saudi Arabia. But, brother, we condemn. So we know this uh, shouting, you know, like they make too much noise, etc. But in reality, all of them, they wish that they destruct and destroy Hamas because Hamas is a Muslim Brotherhood. And if you don't know, Hamas in Saudi Arabia is a wanted organization. So if you are a Hamas member, you go there, they will kill you. Not not, not in the <laughs> They are wanted in Emirat. They are wanted in Egypt. They are wanted in, in Saudi Arabia. They are wanted in Bahrain. They are wanted in Syria. <laughs> but we support Hamas, brother. We support Hamas. Hold on. Let us see. Let us see the the, the porn star. I mean, uh, uh, Pakistan. Pakistan. Uh, uh, what the prime minister of Pakistan? What he's going to do? This guy he have nuke. I mean, this guy he have a nuke. Okay. Look what the Pakistani he decide to do. Al Jazeera TV, Pakistan call for U.S. role de-escalation Gaza conflict. Oh, they did. They just today announced to sell $750 million smart weapon to Israel. <coughs> just today, not yesterday, this is today. And the news, unbelievable. Pakistan, they decide to do something. That's it. We are going to do something. We are going to call, like when you when you hear Pakistan is going to, they say, okay, maybe this country is big. They have hundreds of millions of citizens. I mean, I don't know how many, how many population there are. No, no, this is, I know that they are number one, according to Fox News, number one country search for sex with animals or donkey. I'm not talking about this weapon. I'm talking uh, population. Yeah. So this country is asking USA to do something. What about you do something? Like do something. What about 
Hold on. Let us search for a different one. Which one we did not uh, make him shish kebab yet? Uh, <coughs> think with me, think with me, think with me, think with me. Uh huh. Kuwait. Kuwait condemns Israel attack in occupied Palestinian territory. They condemn it, brother. Kuwait. And this is the video of Lili Dawa. He published, he's saying to him, Get out of here, you baby killers. Uh, uh, Lili Dawa, isn't it your prophet who killed the babies of the Jews, you potato? Hmm? Isn't it your prophet he killed the babies of the Jews? Potato? Hmm? They check their pubic area and anyone he did not, they will kill him. See it? And this is Sahih. I was among, this is a Jewish person speaking about what happened. And later he became a Muslim because he became their slave. I was among the captives of Bani Quraidha and those are Jewish tribe. They, the companion, look how nice they are, examined us and those who had begun grow hair in the pupa area, killed. We Muslims don't kill babies. We don't kill babies. If you are nine years old or eight years old and you have little hair around your pupa area, we kill you. Very nice people. They are kids, they cannot fight. We kill them, no problem. But do you remember in your Bible it says, kill the, ba kill the babies? <laughs> <laughs> oh boy okay <clears throat> here the same story and they made him among their captive do you see it they made him not only even the baby who is not you know they did not kill him they enslaved him for the rest of his life so now after a week of this what happened nothing and you know, just to let you know, I'm very disappointed of this stupid Netanyahu. He is a certified idiot. He had the opportunity to demolish Hamas, and because he is a politician, he just wants to be elected again. They are not leaders. Those are not leaders, you see. This is why I don't like any country who I care for to have a politician as leader. Those who do politics, they are not real people. They are fake. Let us see this video from the IDF and uh, we will see what after. Shalom everyone, Lieutenant Colonel Jonathan. Okay, hold on. Did you hear what he said? He said Shalom, he's a Jew. Did you notice? But he is in the Israeli army. Brother Theta, I told you, those Israeli are Jewish. Okay, thank you for the discovery and we appreciate your knowledge and your intelligence. And they are they analyze the information. Unbelievable. I mean, like they don't look like us at the screen. Like they look like, like he just, just, just he's a Jew. He just discovered that. And here we are live on the IDF's official YouTube page. I am in southern Israel, an undisclosed location close to one of the biggest cities in southern Israel. And behind me is one of many Iron Dome batteries that the IDF deploys. I think they are really the heroes. The men and women who operate this system are really Okay, hold on. You are proud about the Iron Dome. Do you know how many Iron Dome we have in the Arabian countries? As an example, I'm an Arab. If I show you how iron and dome we have, you will not believe it. As an example, I have a frying, <coughs> a frying like the one I fry eggs with it. This is iron dome. What's different? What's different? You know? I mean, look at this. Those people, they came as from the middle of no, I mean, they came from everywhere in the world after they lost their land for thousands of years. And look where they are now. 
And the Arab, they are occupying the land there for 1400 years. This is not their land, remember. Those are Muslims who came as occupation. Those are not even Palestinian. They hijacked the name. Arab, they occupy Egypt. They call themselves Egyptian. They occupy Israel. They call themselves Palestinian. They occupy Syria. They call themselves Syrian. They occupy Iraq. They call themselves Iraqi. But they are not Iraqi. And they are not Syrian. And they are not Palestinian. And they are not. They are not. They themselves the occupation. However, I mean, how come Israel was able to be what it is today? And they are little tiny nation. And the Muslims, they have independence, they have the money, they have the oil, they have lands, massive land. You know, Israel is just in the size of a village compared to what the Muslims have. Why they are successful, and my people, the Arab, are not. Well, we are successful. We are number one people in Gosabin. Second, secondly, we shout too much. Nobody shout like us. Try me. Just try me. Okay, shout. No, you first. Uh, and by the way, we are number one in a fight. When we have a fight, I say to you, you first hit me. No, you first hit me. Listen, if you are a man, hit me first. No, 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 no. You hit me first, you coward. Okay, if you are really, really a man, you hit me first. Okay, and then and then when he, when he hit you and you beat him up, he says, he hit me. <laughs> Aggression of the Jews. The heroes of the last seven days of fighting. Let's talk about numbers. 3,100 rockets have been fired at Israeli civilians. Liar, those are not rockets, those are fireworks, and all of us, we saw them in TV. I mean, they have no shame, they have no shame. Actually, YouTube should take this video down. What is, what is the, 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 the control of the left in YouTube? How do you allow this guy even to talk? Huh? He just said 3,000 rockets. Isn't it, this is racist to say rocket? Isn't it, this is against rocks? He left a uh, Biden supporters. Did you hear him saying a rocket? Isn't it this is racist against the ethnic of the rockets? Imagine yourself, you are a rock. And then everybody saying a rocket, rocket, rocket. Everybody blaming the rocket for everything. This is racist. Take it down. If I am a leftist, leftist, my English is fantastic, by the way. By the way, I, I've been offered to give a, to teach English in Israel, you know? Like I will teach it as the following. Habibi, Habibi. Listen, Habibi, Jacques Sharon. I'm going to teach you English today. And today we are, we are going to start to talk about rocket. Rocket are sent by Hamas are very friendly. And they are sent to us as a gift. And we have to welcome them with open chest. And we don't should not shout back about them. Okay, Habibi, okay. So this is the first class for today and we continue. I mean, when this video is going to finish, if Christian Prince keep talking, the whole video is a three minute. And this guy, he will make it two hours. What's wrong with you? In a span of seven days, that's a lot of rockets in a very short period of time. It's actually the most rockets fired at Israel in such a short period of time. Think about those numbers. We have had, unfortunately, sadly, nine Israeli civilians killed by rockets fired by terrorists from Gaza, mostly Hamas and the Islamic Jihad, at our civilians. Nine people killed, including elderly and including, sadly, a five and a half year old boy. Now, had it not... Okay, okay, to explain to you. First of all, those nine people, they were going to vote against Netanyahu. And what Netanyahu he did, he called Hamas. He said, listen, I will win the election if those nine people are not there. Can you send some rockets so we can eliminate them and I win the election? True story. This is true story. He, uh, say CNN, copy me. Okay. What is that, man? So, you know, the reason I made this video, this title, because I saw tons of videos saying, uh, Erdogan give warning to Israel. Saudi Arabia give warning to Israel. Uh, Jordan give warning. To, my friend, they are giving them warning since 70 years ago. What's wrong with you? We are number one. We are the Arab. We, nobody give warning like us. <laughs> By the way, uh, not only in giving warning, we are the best in giving promises. As an example, what, hold on, I forgot one. I, I forgot one, very important. Okay. Where is, how I forgot this guy? He 
he, he, he dropped by mistake. Where are you? Mm, where are you, the one who want to free Jerusalem? Mm -hmm. I think you are now in the Caribbean taking a cruise ship. Oh, hold on, forget about this guy. Let us talk to his boss. Eh, he's, you know, nothing in his hand anyway. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> Uh, where, where, where? We cannot miss the boss. Hey, where are you? This is not the boss, this is under the boss, you know, but we are going there. Hey, brother, are you going to do every morning? You wake up in the morning, you say, Death to America, death to Israel. Every morning, isn't it time to do something about what you say? Iranian mullah, and look at them, all of them they wear those things in their head. You know why they are ready for war, brother? And you know, I, I, I bet you, like, if the Iranian president and Ayatollah al Khomeini and what is dead, and the, 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 with the other one who took his place. He came to, they, they call Biden. They said to him, do you know what the Israeli are doing? Uh, Biden, he explained to them, he said to them, you know the thing. He shut them up. I mean, nobody can debate Biden. Nobody, nobody, nobody. The, the Iranian president, he spoke for like an hour. He got tired, he can't talk no more. He gave the microphone to Joe Biden and Joe Biden, he said to him, you know the thing. Uh, but uh, you, you know the thing. Uh, I told you, you know the thing. And by the way, I'm talking to who? Uh, I am the uh, president of Iran. Oh, okay. I'm Joe, uh, Joe, uh, Joe Biden's husband. <laughs> and hold on, hold on. I don't want to miss this one. This one is different. This is not even a Muslim. Putin... Putin, he is against the aggression of Israel. Hey, Putin, you forgot what you did in Syria, potato? <laughs> hey, but, hey, Putin, come on, man. What kind of drugs are you taking? What's wrong with you? I mean, who is the guy who has airplanes, they fly all over, they bomb everywhere. And so it's okay for you to bomb them, but it's not okay for Israel to bomb them. Hello? Is that in Israel? Is that a Russian missiles? What is this? Mean. Uh, Russian, actually, the best one who knows how to deal with those terrorists is the Russian, trust me. But in TV, Putin, he says, against the aggression, you know. <laughs> hey, Putin, uh, can you take a selfie in Shishenia, like in, in Grozny? Did you take a selfie when Russian invades Grozny, and, you know, and they made demolish it, they made it with the floor? Uh, I, you know, I remember when the Shishinian terrorists, they decide to take over the city. Brother, the Russian, they show a lot, a lot, a lot. I can say a lot and tomorrow, by the way, I'm an Arab. I'm, I'm telling you, we can repeat the same word forever. So, <laughs> I know, I know. So they show a lot, a lot, a lot of patient and self-preserving against the Shishinian. It's true that they demolished the whole city. It's true. But 
I mean, sometimes there's something you have to do. You know, you do what you need to do. Uh, I'm trying to find the, the picture of Shishenia war, but because my English is funny, I cannot even pronounce Shishenia. I am like Muhammad. I'm a prophet, but I do not know how to write, how to read. <laughs> how to pronounce Shishenia? Hold She. She. Ah, this is why they, why they attack her, because she starts with she. Okay, she. Shinia. Like, what the heck? Can't you change the name? Okay. Oh. All right, brother. All right. We found the uh, finally Grozny. Even the name of the capital is nice. Yes, brother. Let me show you some pictures. Uh -huh. Uh, this is uh, Basayev. This is Mr. Basayev. They made him, the, the Russian. They made him shish kebab. You see this guy, Basayev. So hey, Russian, how come it's okay for you to kill the terrorist, but it's not okay for uh, Israel to kill the terrorist? How come it's okay for you to make them shish kebab hummus, falafel, and attack the cities and make it uh, like a ghost town? Look at this Grozny. Look how beautiful. <whistles> Look at this. This is a piece of art. I mean, the Russian. They know. They know how to make artistic drawing not like those Israeli they give you a warning before they hit the building like leave it we are going to hit it the Russian they don't give you a warning they give you a warning after you die like you know and Putin he is like he is so worried about the Palestinian there hey Putin nice to meet you hey, Putin which flat is yours there in Grozny is that I found your apartment there. It's there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Anyway, all and hold on, hold on. I forgot one. The president of China. <laughs> mean. Suddenly, the president of China. Look, yesterday, all the Muslims accusing him that he is killing Muslims. Look, what happened? Unbelievable how the word of I search for Chinese word, I, I find Chinese food. Like, what the heck? Chinese president. Uh, Palestine. You cannot call it Israel, you have to call it Palestine. Otherwise, uh, the Arab will, you know, my people will, will, uh, will go after me. I cannot say that, you know. Okay, hold on. Let us show you what the president of uh, China he said. Uh, look what he said. He said, "I'm going. I can shake your hand from now until tomorrow." He, uh, what happened, man? It what? Shaking hands with everybody, giving hugs. Look, 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 the Chinese. They give hugs to the Palestinian and they give hugs to the Israeli. I mean, we have uh, hugs for everybody. <laughs> Whoever want to buy Chinese product, we hug him. <laughs> and then after we hug you, we squeeze you and take all your money. And when you have no money, we will throw you out. <laughs> Every potato in this world now is standing saying this is aggression should so stop we should stop okay and macaron Mac macaroni what's the name macaron uh, you know he says we are against the aggression today okay hold on I, I missed this one too I'm missing a lot these days excuse my age brother sisters you know that's what happened to you when you are 17 so look what happened the the Egyptian president how we can miss this one Today he is in Paris. He is where? He is in Paris. Today. And both president of Egypt and the president of France agree that we should stop violence as soon as possible. I mean, do you see how much support they give to the Palestinians? 
he decided to go to Paris so his wife she would shop for some bags and there he made a stand saying we Egyptian president had to Paris head to Paris to attend conference conference in Paris so you were not going to war against Israel so you are not going to war with Israel Erdogan is not going to war with Israel Pakistan is not going to war with Israel Iran is not going to war with Israel who's going to go to war with Israel do you know the song we sing it in Arabic but sometimes we make it in English it says nobody Nobody knew, nobody knew, nobody knew, nobody told him, nobody. Nobody knew, nobody knew, nobody knew, nobody. Nobody knew, nobody knew. 24 hours warning to Israel. Erdogan, he says, Israel, Jerusalem is a red line. Uh, hold on. Uh, Erdogan, in case you don't know, they took Jerusalem 50, 60 years ago. Potato. What red line? Potato. What? Jerusalem is a bird line? That claw? That wall? It's a red line. And, and by the way, all of them, they like the red line. But the funny is, it looked like it's a red line for them, not for the Israeli. Israel bombed Syria every day, attacking Hezbollah, every day almost. Let us see how many times Israel hit Syria in the last year. Israel attack on Syria. And Iran, why Iran don't attack back? How come they care for Gaza? Don't care for their Hezbollah? Their own people? Look, look, two days ago, two weeks ago, two weeks ago, four weeks ago, three weeks ago, three weeks ago, three weeks ago three, what we stuck with two weeks and three weeks come on move on what's wrong with this news so look how many attack on on, uh, in, on the hezbollah those are the army of iran and iran is making a threat death to america death to israel so if the iranian they dare even to respond to israel they have one million executors to do they attack them every day why Iran observe Israeli inflict blows on its militant proxies? That's a good question. Why Iran don't respond when Israel is attacking the, their militant everywhere, Hezbollah, even Iranian troops in Syria, they, you know, but they don't respond. The latest Israeli strike two days ago on Gaza, house kill seven, this is the, this is the one. Anyway, I mean, so, when people they make videos or make titles about the Muslim giving warning, uh, I don't say to the Israeli relax. Always be vigilant and be you know you never know. But usually those people they talk a lot. They do nothing. All those who go and shout like they they make a strike in New York in London whatever. If you say to them why you don't go and do jihad, nobody will go. How many of you want to join to, to, to defend? Uh, nobody will go. They love to shout and they love to show off. It's a show off time. And not only that, there is other side of this war. Maybe I should talk about it. War is a business for Hamas and those terrorists. Because each time Israel and them have war, a lot of money come from Gulf countries supposedly to rebuild what the Israel destroyed. And this is what they want. They want money. Today news, Biden administration approved 735 million weapons sale to Israel. Hey, Biden, I thought you are Democrat and the Democratic Party is against Israel. How you do that? Uh, you know the thing. <laughs> you know I'm not the true president of the country. <laughs> so those wars are very important for those terrorist groups. 
because now after the this too much smoke was with, with no real war you know they will receive hundreds of millions of dollars and those people who live in Gaza there's no there's no income for them they just have babies there's no jobs how they can feed those people how they how Hamas they can tell them tell their citizen who live there uh, why we don't have jobs for you why would not build manufacture why we have nothing so war is a solution and they have too much population and who care if they get rid of 300 500 a thousand ten thousand as long do we will receive money so you will see this guy uh, his name is uh, Hania the leader of Hamas saying I will fight until the last one of your kids but his kids in Qatar <laughs> isn't it amazing beautiful this guy he want to fight with until the last kids of your kids And where where are you now? Where, you know all of them. All of them. They have their kids studying uh, in uh, you know like in Switzerland, uh, in Paris, in New York. Hmm? A lot of money, millions of dollars. You know Yasser Arafat when he died. Just give you an idea. Yasser Arafat, who is the founder of this, what it's called, Palestine state. Uh, when he died, he had billions of dollars in many secret banks. Anyone can tell me where the money came from? All of us we knew. I'm trying to find you can search it anyway you know you can search uh, uh, you know you can search about Yasser Arafat and you will see that the money all of it was coming from kidnapping airplanes kidnapping airplanes a lot of money every two weeks they kidnap a European airplane and those stupid European they pay them, pay them ransom hundreds of millions of dollars and all the money go to his pocket and then for sure he gives some money to his men the terrorist and then the stupid American they force the stupid Israeli to sign a peace agreement with the stupid guy who is a terrorist and the reason of this or the reason the result of this stupid agreement we have now people who recognize them as a state when they are not a state and suddenly we made the terrorist government this is exactly what the stupid American did to the stupid Israeli by making a stupid agreement. It's called Camp David. After all those years, after signing the peace agreement, did you have peace? No. Are you going to have one? Never. Why? Because you are a Jew, they are Muslims. This is not about war of land. The land have nothing to do with it. They will hate you even if you move to New York. They will go after you even if you live in Italy, even if you go to the moon, because their prophet, he said, that time will come and the Muslims will kill all the Jews. This is not about land. Many stupid people, naive people think that this is a war about land. This is a religious war. This is a religious war. And when you try to fight against religious war using politics you will notice right away that whoever joined that fight is a stupid because which one is more important an agreement it's called peace agreement a paper or holy prophet order which one i think you know the answer right so those who lie to themselves saying one day we are going to have peace agreement that will never happen if they sign agreement with you today, it's just temporarily. Because the Quran allowed them to sign peace agreement temporarily only. Only. The Quran forbid the Muslims. To sign peace agreement. If they are the uppermost. 
it's forbidden they can sign temporarily only until they are strong this is the truth so when you see uh, Emirates signing peace agreement or Bahrain or Jordan or Egypt simply because simply they cannot fight Israel temporarily this is all temporarily for this is again this is allowed in the Quran to be only temporarily but be not weary and faint hatred crying for peace when you should be the uppermost do you see it this is chapter 47 verse number 35 it's against the religion and their prophet he told them the most enemy for you is the Jews and they have to fight the Jews until they kill every single Jew so I believe strongly that peace agreement between Muslims and Israel is the death of Israel I know Israeli are so excited they want to go to Emirat you know, like we don't want to have enemies we want to have a friend with the neighbors I understand we want to fly directly you know we are sick of a flying going around many countries because all those countries don't allow us to use their airspace I understand this is the only good point actually in this agreement that is right now they can fly over Saudi Arabia they can go to India right away direction they can fly over many countries before they cannot this is the only point otherwise if you think you are signing a peace agreement you are a fool those okay are we back uh, guys do you hear me all right so I just wanted to share with you this with you and uh, when they say uh, you know we are going to we give warning to Israel trust me that's mean they are going to increase relationship with Israel when the Saudi they say we are going we are we are against the Israeli it is the opposite Arab don't like each other and they don't trust each other they trust you see all those Arab countries especially the Gulf if you are a Christian and you want to go there they don't investigate you the visa is so easy for somebody is a Christian an Arab Christian or even Palestinian Christian if you are a Muslim you have to dream about having visa to go there did you ask yourself why they don't trust Muslims they don't all those countries because when a Muslim come to their country he's a troublemaker the intelligence of Saudi Arabia they don't watch Arab Christians in Saudi Arabia Arab Christian they are not troublemakers they watch Pakistani they watch Egyptian they watch Palestinians they watch anyone who is a Muslim they watch them carefully but they are not worried about Christians being a troublemakers so if you want to go right now and you are an Arab you want to go to Emirat the visa is so easy as long as you have a reason to go if you are a Muslim you have time come tomorrow come the day after give us more information give us your Facebooks your account and they check on you your post in Facebook what you are talking about what you believe in if you are a Christian right away you are welcome they even limited the number of Indian Muslims to come to their countries because when a Muslim come to a country which is Islamic country right away he claimed that this is his country too and he start putting his nose in the country business and Christian person who come from India he will not do that a Pakistani boy who come from Pakistan he come to Emirat a second day he was talking about the prince he is not a good Muslim prince that's why they kicked him out a Christian from Pakistan he will mind his business this is not my country so Muslim they think they own each other countries and that's why nobody welcome them And this is the truth so uh, by the way I want to go I want to go to Israel but I'm afraid that the Israeli will think I'm a terrorist <laughs> because I look like one really you know 
can we talk today? I don't know. I talk about what? Why you want to talk to me today? Right? Yeah. <clears throat> Christian are not allowed in Mecca. You are mistaken. Now you can you can go to Mecca. The new the Crown Prince of Saudi Arabia just, just last week they removed all the signs from Muslims only. It's it's gone. It's gone. Let me show you. Hold on. Let me search in the news. Now, Saudi Arabia is open to non-Muslims, including Mecca and Medina. See? I'm telling you, my friend, history is, is, is everything. Islam is collapsing. Read with me. This is just May 5th. This is May 5th. Saudi, remove Muslim-only sign from highway to Medina. You see it? And to Mecca too. That's why now if you go search on YouTube, you will find many who they are either atheists or Christians making YouTube in those cities. Before you cannot go there, you will be killed. So Islam is in different era now. And obviously the Saudi government, they don't care for anything Muhammad he said no more. They want to get rid of it. When you see such a thing, the Saudi doing, you need to ask yourself, what happened to the Prophet order? What happened to the country who preserved the Prophet orders, even the Quran order? How that happened? The answer is very simple. Islam is not welcome. So they want to be Muslim by name, but now they are welcoming in music, theater, dancing. And this is, was crazy to, to believe it's going to happen in Saudi Arabia. And this is why actually I support this prince, even though he's a dictator, but I mean, you, you need a dictator to change this change. This change cannot happen by democracy. You need a dictator, somebody force certain rules and nobody there to challenge. So they are removing it As you see, Saudi Arabia remove, removes Muslims only signs to the roads. Those signs, you will not see them no more. And soon, actually already I saw a Jewish guy in, 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 the, in the Kaaba. There's a guy, he went to, to the Kaaba, he made a video on YouTube. He's a Jew. Habibi, Habibi, talk to you from uh, from uh, from Mecca, Habibi. Right? Yeah. Uh, but anyway, and remember, we are not here to speak about against uh, you know, but we are here to share, uh, let us say, some reality. It is reality. Arab, they say something, but they want something else. They say we support Palestinian, but the fact they fight the Palestinians. Nobody killed Palestinian as much as the Arab did. Go and search how many the King of Jordan killed, how many uh, the Kuwait. Uh, you know, the, the Kuwaiti, when Saddam Hussein invade, uh, the Palestinian who been given great position in Kuwait, a lot of wealth, a lot of money, very nice jobs suddenly they betray their own kuwaiti uh, friends who welcome them in their country and they join saddam hussein so what the kuwait did they kicked out every single palestinian from jordan from syria from 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 gaza doesn't matter every palestinian get out this is what they say to them and the same for all other islamic countries they don't welcome them the only one who welcomed them in limited number is Qatar to use only their leaders. So they will come only, let us say, the top of them so they can control Hamas and they can control Al Jihad. You will see in Qatar, they have the families of Taliban as an example. Why? So they can control Taliban leaders. 
they give them nice housing nice salary free school bring them here and then Taliban there as they are under our control you will notice that Qatar is the only one have authority over Hamas over Taliban over the the Mujahideen or Al Qassam whatever they call them why because it is the money back all of them they get their salary from Qatar in the same time Qatar is the biggest intelligence center for USA and CIA and for the Mossad so in one hand Qatar is number one supporters for terrorists in the other hand is number one resource for USA to attack terrorists it looked like Qatar they do the job of the following let us put some sugar here they come and you kill them so obviously Qatar is an evil country who they are plotting against Muslim even though they look like if they are supporting Muslims this is the truth all right we have a person his name is Omar Farouk uh, Omar Farouk the one who talk about only I don't know talking about me it is you Muslim who talk only here we go Israel is there you have how many countries Muslim countries 60 countries eh, Israel is there all of you are talk only okay Yasmin, I have to take you off the admins because you are flooding the text when you are a moderator, supposedly. Anyway, guys, so I think uh, it's enough for what we said today. But uh, for those who keep saying that Israel is going to be under attack, yes, Israel is under attack, but the rocket is against Israel is a joke. I mean, yeah, there's some Israeli, they died. This is true but it's a stupid even to, to launch those rockets this is showing you how stupid even i mean this hamad they just want money they don't care what will happen next they want just money and the money is going to come after the attack stop because this is what they do each time they launch rockets which is useless mostly i mean after all of this three thousand how many they killed at uh, eight eight people after 300, 3,000 uh, something rocket? I mean, what kind of rocket does rocket has? They knew that the Israeli, they have a great defense system. So out of 3,000, there's few people get killed. So what the purpose of this attack? They want money. Each time they attack Israel, after Israel knock them down, donation come from all Islamic countries like rain. And this is exactly what this is about. It's about business. For them, they are not fighting Israel and they will never dare to fight Israel. And actually, most of the Palestinian, they will dream to live in Israel. And not only that, the Palestinian, all of them, they have like a, everyone who, who live there, they speak to a friend, he is a Jew, try to get them and like a, a document so they can work in Israel. Because there's a huge difference between the income in Palestinian territory and there's no jobs anyway or to work in Israel so if you have somebody to 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 grant you uh, access to Israel give you a job that would be like a dream for a Palestinian and when you see like we saw in the news how Arabs supposedly attacking civilian uh, a Jewish uh, those are stupid too because as soon they kick them out of, of Israel you will see how they will cry they are living wealthy, they have nice life, they have equal rights, the same as the Jews. If you live under Hamas, they will treat you like a dog. Say one word against Hamas, in Hamas territory, you will disappear, you and your family. In Israel, you can say whatever you want to, to, to Netanyahu. You can call him pig, you can shout at him, you can say I'm an Arab, you can say I'm a Muslim, and nobody will arrest you for saying that. Only we arrest you if you do terrorism. And then they will give you five stars hotels with TV, even if you are a killer. As an example, a killer from Jordan, he killed more than 26, I think, 26 Israeli children. They put him in jail for 15, 16 years, and then they release him. There's no execution in Israel. The guy, he killed tens of children. No execution, no execution. They give him a sale with TV, health insurance, and Quran. This is why this is why Arab they don't fear to be arrested by Israeli 
but they will be terrified to be arrested by a Muslim government. If a Muslim government they arrest you, you are you are history. Nobody even will know that you are arrested. Your family they will go to check on you. They say, it's "Our son, you arrested him yesterday." You said, "We did not." You're, we don't have his name. He's not here. Oh no! The, the police came yesterday. Secret police. No. He's not. We don't know who took him. This is not us. They deny even they took him. That's it, which means you forget about him. And mostly they will end in the barrel of acid. So their body will disappear. They create a big swimming pool full of acid. And whoever prisoner they kill him, they dump him in the pool. And after some time, the acid will demolish your bones and your flesh. And that's it. You are gone. There is no grave even for you. Because you are gone. There's nothing left of you. So the truth is that because Israel is nice, they are doing this to Israel. You will see a Palestinian who is arrested by the Israeli police is laughing. I want to see somebody is being arrested by uh, Iraqi or by, by Saudi is laughing. He will never laugh. <laughs> or in Turkey. In Turkey, they rape you. Number one country in the world who rape their prisoners is Turkey. Men raping men. This is the this is the this is I mean this is being nice to you. If you are good looking, they will rape you, and you are a man. So reality is ugly, and the truth is different. The truth is, if you ask all those Arab citizens, do you wish to live in Israel? They will say, please give me, get me there. All of them they hate America, but all of them they say, please take me to America. Oh, the UK, the, the occupation, the empire of UK, evil, evil, brother. They are the one who helped Israeli to give it. And, but every one of them died to go to England. Go to England and see how many Muslims they are. They are, they are coming from everywhere in the world. But this is the land of the Kuffar. So Muslim, they say something like those YouTubers, you know, uh, Lili and Susu and Sito and Dudu. All of them, they live where in Europe. All of them. Did you ask yourself, why do they speak against us from Islamic countries? I mean, even against us. Because in Islamic countries, you cannot even open your mouth. So you will notice all those who speak against us, they are living in Europe or even in America. Because freedom only in the land of non-Muslims, even to the Muslims. Don't think that only Christians are discriminated in Islamic countries. Islamic countries, there's no freedom for nobody. Is the land of taboo, is the land of death, is the land of no human right. When they speak about a human right, ask them, do you have a human right in your country? Which one? Nobody speak about a human right as Muslims do, but not a single Muslim country believe in a human right, or practice a human right, or give a human right. I never saw between Arab or Muslims, any nation can beat on beat them in hypocrisy. I remember I am Middle Eastern, I'm born there, so I'm talking against my own people, for this is the truth. They speak too much against prostitution, but prostitution is number one business there. Child molestation, child rape, kidnapping, ransom, I mean, and they, nobody talk about how good they are. Go to Morocco, go to Tunisia, go to Algeria, go to Egypt, go to Syria, go to Iraq, go, 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 go to Turkey. Turkey is 24 hours, night clubs open. I, there's an app I download. Somebody told me that if you, you know, there's Muslim there, they are posting propaganda. So I said, okay, let me download it and so I can post my videos. And you can search for like, you can change your location for the country to fit with the country. So I put my location, Turkey. And then I click enter. And then supposedly I'm going to find some people posting videos about Islam. Or what I found, the prostitutes. Call this number. And they have their pictures and they have videos of themselves. This is the land of Erdogan. When they ask the minister of Islam in, in Turkey, how come Erdogan don't close the bars and the nightclubs and the pimp house? 
He said, if we close them, who will pay your salary? This is reality, my friend. So they speak so much about holiness, but they are the last one to be holy. All of them, they are the same. All of them, with no exception. The truth hurt. The truth is ugly. And before I go, I want to say something about this Netanyahu. Netanyahu is a businessman. He don't really care for Israel. I don't like this guy. I believe he's very corrupt. But Netanyahu is not Israel. Netanyahu is just a person, a businessman, and he is corrupt. This is my own personal belief. You don't have to agree with me. But Netanyahu is a very corrupt man. This is why you cannot win a war with someone like him. The reason actually, the reason they are being aggressive and they are attacking because they knew he is corrupt. He will never attack them in Gaza because all what he is worried about, and I'm talking about the ground attack, because simply he knew that if he attack, he will lose soldiers. And if he lose soldiers, soldiers, he might lose election. And this person, all what he care for is election. He is not an Israeli leader. He's a fraud. So I advise the Israeli, get a real leader, man. Get a real prime minister. Get a man who serve all his life in the army and he is not a businessman. Get a man who his children are not doing business with every country in the world. Never accept a businessman who have business around the world to be a prime minister or a president for you. For very simple reason. Those people, they have one worry is business, money. And they use their jobs as a source of income. This is a video from the IDF. Israeli defense webpage and look how peaceful are those who they are attacking Israel and how aggressive Israeli are when they don't allow those missiles come down in the ground. All right, so now we knew what's happening. We knew what is, you know, and I know that there's no war is going to happen. All of this is a theater. The Hamas shooting is a, is a, is a joke. You know, they knew they cannot accomplish anything with this. They, the only thing they will get is money. And you will see soon how the money will come from everywhere, from Kuwait, from Emirat, because the Arab, they like to show off. In one hand, they are against Israel. In the other hand, they give money to show their population that we support them. Like, you know, what I mean, it's like it's like, you know, somebody making too much noise, give him some money so he will not bark against us. This is all is about money. Hamas, they want money. They are desperate. Every six, seven years, you will notice they will make something like this. Why? Because when the money is out, when the money is out, then they will do it again. So now they will stop soon. And then they will give them 500, 600 million dollars. And that will be enough for the coming let us say for four years. When the money is out, then they will attack again. It's about money. Hezbollah is about money. Iran is sending hundreds of millions of dollars to Hezbollah members. There's no jobs in Lebanon. There's no economy. The country is collapsing. The only income they have is Iran. It's money. So you have to create a reason for the money to come. And this is the only way. They keep begging, help us, send us money. Muslims, where are you? 
Do you remember the guy who offered me a ticket to where somewhere? A Muslim, he was living in, I think, in Korea, something like this. He said, I challenge you to come and debate me. I will pay for your ticket. Even I will donate uh, five or 10,000 to your mission, whatever. You want to donate for me, but you don't have money for the Palestinians? To the Somalians? Muslims are dying everywhere from hunger. Money is beyond is, is is the reason for all of this. Hamas leaders, all their families are abroad. Already, actually, the, the president of Egypt, he said, even the one who was there, all Hamas children and wives are already in Egypt. Did you ask yourself, what kind of leaders they let their children go out so the children of the rest they die? It's okay if your children die, but children of Hamas, they should not. And only the leaders, not everybody from Hamas. So, we know the game. We know that this is not a serious war. Even though, like, Israelis are terrified because rockets is coming, etc. But we knew that this will not change anything in the ground. Any war will not end in the, in the, in the ground in a way. Can change something, it means it's useless. So, why Hamas is doing it? For money. Why Netanyahu don't want to launch a ground attack, which is the only way to eliminate those terrorists? Because of politician, you know, politics, because of money. He want to be the prime minister. And if he leave the prime minister job, he will be under a big investigation and mostly he will end in jail. For he's a corrupt man. So it's a benefit for Netanyahu, not for the Israeli. It's a benefit for Hamas leaders, not for the Palestinians. Because what the Palestinians now will get from this? Nothing. The money will not even go to them. The money will go to Hamas leaders. All the donation will come, will go to the pocket of Hamas leaders. And then they start controlling those little tiny ones, the poor ones. If you want to give help, I'll give you $50 a month. You know, So they receive hundreds of millions of dollars donation or a gift from Arab Islamic countries. And then they give the normal citizen $50 a month so he can buy bread. And by now, by doing that, they are controlling those poor people. But the real money is in their pocket. This is the truth. Right? Uh, a person saying, Uthman is calling me to wear burqa. My friend, your Uthman is the burqa wear, a person who wear it. Because here we go, I challenge him to wear jihad against Israel. Let us see who is wearing burqa. Your Uthman is the one who wear burqa. He gave five to David Wood, the one who ate the Quran, because he was afraid, terrified that David Wood will eat him, even though he had two tall guys behind him. Coward, burqa man. And the burqa is the one who don't dare to debate me. And the burqa is the one who don't dare to wage jihad when your God told you to do that. The burqa is those who claim that they are defending Islam, but none of them he dare to say what they say in secret. You know why? Because all of you are wearing burqa. I challenge you all of those who live in the West to go and say what you say in a private, say it in public. You don't there because you are wearing burqa. Where is the Islamic armies? Where is Erdogan wearing burqa? Where is the president of Egypt wearing burqa? All of you are burqa people. Not only your last name is burqa, you are people of burqa. And by the way, as long you are saying, trying to bully me talking about burqa we are not the people who wear burqa it's your mother so are you saying your mother she is a bad woman that's why you should wear burqa are you saying that your mother she is a coward that's why she is wearing burqa are you saying that islamic women they are a bunch of cowards and that's why explained why their babies are cowards because if the mother is coward wearing burqa that means the son is going to be a coward too where are you the brave women and women where is the ones who want to do jihad? You don't dare because you are wearing burqa. Erdogan wearing burqa. The king of or Jordan wearing burqa. Name for, one, for me one Islamic king, if we can call them kings, is not wearing a burqa. All of you are the same. You talk too much about war and peace. You claim that you are heroes, but in reality, all of you are in the burqa. You threat Israel, but you never do anything. 
Israel is red line for us. You know, Jerusalem is red line, Erdogan, he says. But $7 billion business deals with Israel. All the steel Israel used to, 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 to bomb those who you call them Hamas is sold by Turkey. Erdogan will never dare to close his consulate of Israel in Turkey. He will never dare to close the American who support in Israel base. He will never dare to kick them out. Who is the one wearing burqa? Cowards. All of you are a bunch of cowards. When the American, they came and they get Osama bin Laden and they fly inside the earth space of Pakistan. Where was the great army of Pakistan? Burqa. Burqa nation. When the American army come or Israeli army come, all of you, you go underground. Burqa. Where is Hamas? Where we can find them? They are underground. Burqa. Why you don't go and fight the Jews face to face? Burqa. So they talk about burqa, and I understand why. Because burqa is very much attached to their skin. They don't have a skin of real men. They have burqa fabric. And they're a ground nation. All of them are the same. All of them. Burqa. If you are a man, go and fight the Israeli army face to face. There are a few... They are not even a thousand meters away from you. Go! Where is the Mujahideen who have weapon? Allahu Akbar! Go! Are you going to make a war through YouTube? Are you going to make a war by using rocket? Most of them, they fall in the top of your head. And by the way, many of the rocket, they fail on the Palestinians. Do you know that? Because those rockets are made from stupid things. They say to you, like, advanced rocket. Yeah, we saw how they advanced. They, they don't even have direction. They send the rocket to the, to the, to the, to the west. It go, it go back on them. Go watch the videos and die laughing. If you want to fight the Israeli, the Israeli are there. Just attack them. Go ahead. The army is in front of you. If you go and see this video here, let me show you this video here. Hold on. You will see that those are just in the front of the borders of Gaza. <laughs> they are in front of you. Where are you? Burka. Burka Nation. Look, this guy is standing in the field. He is not behind walls. He's in the field. Where is Hamas? To Khabibi, Khabibi, to Khabibi, Jews. He's a Jew, guys. He's a Jew. Hamas, they don't like the Jews. Okay, talk. Shalom, everyone. Lieutenant Colonel Jonathan here. We are live on the IDF's official YouTube page. I am in southern Israel, an undisclosed location, close to one of the biggest cities in southern Israel. And behind me is one of many Iron Dome battles. Let us search first for the uh, uh, Israeli soldiers in the borders of Gaza. Hold on. <laughs> in your borders, why you don't go? What are you waiting for? Huh? Search with me, Israeli army in the Gaza, in Gaza border. Go watch the Jazeera TV. And look how close they are to you. Where are you? Why you don't attack them? Go ahead. Because you are wearing burqa. Where is Hezbollah? Where is Ayatollah al-Khomeini? Where is ISIS? Where is Al-Qaeda? Where is the Mujahideen? Burqa. This is exactly what you did, all of you. When when the American come, where Saddam Hussein, where they found him? 
he wore a burqa and he hide under the ground. Where they found ISIS leader, he took a burqa and he left as a woman so he can escape and later the dog of the American get him. Same as Osama bin Laden, all of you are burqa people. Actually, if you search right now for ISIS member capture wearing burqa, you will find tons of videos. Burqa. And this is why actually we are speaking in this video about Muslim threat to Israel. It's a burqa threat. They talk too much, but they say nothing. They do nothing. I was listening to a, a TV of Hamas. The criminals, they are shooting out our children. They are bombing our children. You stupid, aren't you? The one who starts sending your funny rocket in the top of their children. So it's okay for you to throw at them. They are cannot throw it at you. <laughs> Burka. They have a burqa in their brain. They have burqa in their behavior. They have burqa in their in, in their talk. They say something, they do the opposite. All of them, they say we support Palestinians, but nobody want to give a visa to Palestinians. Which Islamic country give visa to Palestinians? Anyone knows? Hmm? Hello? Burqa? So, I hope we have enough for today. Don't forget to subscribe. As you know, I don't keep my videos uh, because Muslims are wearing burqa and they flag my videos. You see who is the coward? You cannot even handle. You cannot even handle a video. Burqa people. In war, you are a coward. In talk, you are a coward. In reality, you are a coward and a hypocrite. And then they give you a lecture about cowards. Even your prophet himself, he wear a burqa and he run away from Mecca. He asked his own cousin to sleep in his bed so he can survive and live, according to the Muslim stories. A man who is brave, he will not ask nine years old to sleep in his bed so he can be killed and he run away. Coward burqa man. And when you say we are sending rockets at Israel, are you laughing at yourself? Aren't you? Are you? I mean, you are fooling who? If the Israelis are not nice, they can destroy all your city in two seconds. All of us, we knew that. They do not need to win a war. You are nothing, no match. Your country is no match for them. They can destroy Turkey, Pakistan, Syria, Iraq in, in, the, in the blink of an eye. So why you are you doing this? Because you are wearing burqa, you want money. You are crying for money. And now the donation will come after the Israeli, they stop teaching you how to behave. All is about money. Cowards, they have no dignity, they have no honesty, and they use their own children to make money. And then the Prince of Qatar, he will say, every citizen who his house destroyed, we will send him $50,000. Those people, they are willing to take $10,000 for a child. Take the child and give me $5,000. No dignity. Don't they knew that the Israelis are going to shoot back? Yes, they knew. But they are in the tunnel. The poor Palestinians are in the top. Hamas is hiding. Burqa. All of them, they are under the tunnel. Who is not under the uh, not, who is in the top? The normal citizen. Who is hiding? The terrorist. Do you see how funny it is? The one who claimed that they are defending the land, they are the one is hiding under the land, under the civilians, because they are cowards, like their prophet. So anyway. I say, I mean, I, I stopped talking about this topic because I find it not worth it and there's no real war. And this potato Netanyahu, he will not go in a ground attack because this is the only way to, to make it like like a war. But because he's a, he's a person who do politics, he's afraid to lose 50 soldiers. You see, when the Israeli attack south of Lebanon, 
the attack south of Lebanon. How many soldiers the Israeli lost? You will laugh. Where is the heroes? Where is the Mujahideen? They went all the way to Beirut. And the Muslim, they say that the, 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 the Jewish are, are coward. Who is the coward? They went all the way to Beirut and they took Beirut. Not only they went there, they took it. Where was the Mujahideen? They hide, they run. They know themselves. They talk too much about being heroes. If we go right now and search in Google, you will not believe it how coward those who they call themselves Mujahideen. To the point the Israeli went all the way to the heart of Lebanon and they took Beirut. And they can take it back so easy too. All of us, we knew that. Just go right now and search Israel occupying Beirut. Not only, not Gaza. This is a city, huge city, full of guns and terrorists and etc. And Yasser Arafat was there and he have like 20,000 top fighters, Hezbollah, Iranian, Syrian, you name it. And then what happened? They went inside Beirut as if it is like a, a picnic. Where is the where is the brave one? But in TV they were heroes, Allahu Akbar, Jihad. I remember once Israeli helicopter went down in the highway in the south of Beirut. This is after the occupation, they left now, they are gone. And they took a big shake of Hezbollah. And they took his bodyguards. And guess what? The Israeli army, not only they come in the ground, they come, they have dogs with them. Can you believe it? All the, the all the militant, all those who have weapon, all those like Hamas and etc. They disappear from the streets. After they capture the guy, they put him and his bodyguards, they put him in the airplane. And they have their dogs sniffing around in the car. And they check his car, his baloney, they took everything. After the lift, 15 minutes after, the Mujahideen, they come out. Allahu Akbar, Allah, like, where, where you been? Where you been when the soldiers of Israel were in the ground? They hide, they disappear. This is reality. And they claim that Israeli are the cowards. Where you been? So they speak about how brave they are. Reality is different. Anyway, I see many funny comments here. And all of you, you support uh, Palestine. All of you, but you are a coward. You don't support them for real. How do you support them? By making a comment? Israeli, they don't need my support. They have a, one of the most powerful armies in the world. What do you do, Muslims? Where is your support? You talk about it in the mosque? You vote for Biden? We will go Biden just today. He gave the Israeli 700 something million dollars weapon. Smart weapon. Intelligence weapon. So they can shoot better at Hamas. 
Did you did you think you got rid of Trump? Do you think that this guy would do better for you? Right? Yeah, China support Palestinian. Where is the Chinese who they, they where is the Muslims who they are saying uh, look look at this guy, free Palestinia. Even it's called Palestinian now. What happened to the Chinese who put the Uyghur in jail? What happened to the Chinese who killed the Muslims in China? You see how hypocrite they are? Look at them, look at them. They hide behind the ass of an infidel. China, protect us, China. We don't have men. Hamas leaders are in the tunnel. Yes, our fault is in the grave. The president of Egypt is potato. Erdogan is a dog, he's a horny, he doesn't know what to do. He is just a person who speaks too much, but he do nothing. China, you are the only hope. You are Allah, we worship you. China, do something. And Chinese, they will do. Just wait. They will send you free shipping and hand it into Allah. Hypocrites. That is a clear proof that they are cowards. In one hand, they say to you that Chinese are infidels, we hate them, they are killing Muslims. In the other hand, they are asking, begging the Chinese to protect them. Coward like their prophet. Anyway, I'm not going to keep this video, just I want to share with you my opinion of such a funny war. Uh, uh, but as you see, those people are really cowards. They, say, they, they speak too much. You know, I imagine Netanyahu, when he hear an Arab talking about, we will do, destroy Israel. Netanyahu, he will be shaking like, hey, yeah, 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 hummus. Go, to either, go eat hummus. Go have sex with your wife and make a new baby. This is the only thing they can do. And they accuse the Jews for anything. If a guy, his wife, he cannot have babies, he will accuse a Jew that he is the one who slept with his wife. And this is something they inherited from their prophet, if you remember. According to Muhammad, according to Muhammad himself, he died because of a woman, Jewish woman, she bought poison from Home Depot. And you know, in the Hadith, they do they Photoshop, you know, for the Hadith. They took the word Home Depot from the Hadith. Otherwise, I believe the original Hadith, it says here, it says here, the Prophet in his element, which he died, Aisha saying, he used to say, Oh, Aisha, I still feel the pain caused by the food I ate at Khaybar. And at that time, at this time, I feel as if it is my orta, if my orta is being cut off from that poison, which is bought from Home Depot. You see, the, you see how they lie? They took the Home Depot apart. Even their prophet, he accused Jews to kill, kill him. And then Muhammad, he accused the Jews that they are the one who control his penis. Muhammad, he go to Aisha, he cannot have sex. Uh, Muhammad, what's wrong with you, honey, honey? What, what's wrong with you? Why you cannot do boom, boom? Muhammad, he says to her, the Jews, the Jews, Aisha, they control my penis. Your penis controlled by the Jews? Read, read, read carefully. The prophet continued for such and such period, imagining that he had a step boom, boom with his wives. In fact, he did not. Okay, who is the one behind this? Netanyahu. Netanyahu, he took some hair from the anus of Muhammad and he controlled the penis of Muhammad. Read carefully. Muhammad, Aisha, she claimed that the prophet, he accused the Jews of controlling him by the black magic. Do you see it? They blame the Jews for anything. Even if their penis is not working, they blame the Jews. So Muhammad, now his penis is not working, the Jews. Muhammad, what's your penis have to do with the Jews, man? Habibi, the Jews, Habibi, they do a lot of things, Habibi. They control many businesses. And this is what happened to you, all of you Muslim men. The Jews, they make your penis asleep. You are a man only by shouting. Your manhood only shine by shouting. In reality, you are a coward. Burqa. And not only that, Muhammad, he claimed. That's uh, uh, who said the land belonged to the Jews forever? Muhammad, he said that. And the Bible says that. And as long as your name is Al Kitab al Muqaddas, you ask him such question, get out of here, hypocrite. The book, our book, their book, says this is the land belonged to the Jews. You go to chapter 5, verse number 21, it says, Oh, my people, 
enter the holy land which Allah assigned into you. If you read the whole Quran, you will not find the word Palestine. You will find the opposite. You will find that Allah says to Moses, remember, remember when Moses says to his people, all my people call remembrance of the favor of Allah upon you. And then he says, all my people enter the holy land, which Allah has assigned into you. Even in the stupid book of Muhammad, this land is assigned to the Jews. This is the land of the Jews. And yet they blame the Jews for everything. Actually, Muhammad, he made it clear that if you have a food and the food is damaged, that is because of the Jews too. Even that is because of the Jews. Muhammad, he claimed, if not Eve, there's no woman betray her husband. And if there's no Jews, no food will be decaying. Do you see it? Can you believe it? The reason we have, the reason you have a freezer at home because of the Jews. So if we get rid of Netanyahu, my food will not be damaged now. I can leave my shish kebab outside and nothing will happen. The Jews, the problem for everything in the world, brother. So this culture, you know, this is the Islamic culture. They have no electricity, they paint the Jews, not because they are corrupt. A hole in the street, there's, there's, a, there's a guy, he posted a picture. He have a picture of him 30, 35 years ago when he was a kid in the street on the front of his house and there's a hole in the road and then he took a picture of the same in the front of his house he is 35 or 40 years old and the hole is still there almost 40 years after the hole is not fixed this is the Middle East and they blame the Jews why people are dying in Iran because of Israel we are fighting Israel why there's no jobs, there's no money in, Israel, in Iran. Iran is a rich country because of Israel. Why there's no jobs in Egypt because of Israel? In Syria, Israel. Anything happened to them because of Israel. This is the truth. My friend, the one who keeps saying I want to explain something to me, not today. Today we are talking about politics and about the testicles of the prophet, so show respect, please. When people, they speak about the testicles of the prophet, everybody have to respect his testicles. Put yourself in his shoes. You are now having 13 wives, and then the Jews, they took control of your penis, and now you cannot do boom, boom. And then in the front of people, you go outside, you say, today I have sex with all my wives. And then they go and ask the wife, they say, no way, he did not even touch us. Potato. Even the penis of their prophet, the reason behind it is not working, it is the Jews. But Netanyahu was not there, neither the Mossad. What they did, according to the story, look, even Muhammad, he says, look, 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 he said to his wife, uh, uh, no, sorry, the Allah, he sent two, three angels, brother, okay? And then one stood in the top of him, and one in the top of his head, and one in the top of his legs. The first angel, he said to the other angel, What's wrong with this man? Look, look, they don't want to say the name of Muhammad because they are afraid that the Jews will find about his name, you know. What's wrong with this name, man? And then the other guy, he said to him, the angel, he's under the effect of magic. The first one said, who, who did work magic on him? Who, who, who? Give me his name. He replied, Labaid ibn al-Asam. Here we go, the Jews. Labaid ibn al-Asam Khabibi. His, by the way, his real name is Jack Shalom. But now he's undercover. He was sent by Netanyahu. He went to the house of Muhammad. Muhammad was doing poo, poo He came from his back. He took some hair from his anus. And then now they are controlling the prophet from far distance. This is the proof that the first one who come with remote control in the world, it was the Jews. Controlling the penis of the prophet from far distance. Who can do that except the Jews? Nobody. I mean, we have to be honest here. Number one drone is the Israeli. Remote control Israeli. Microwave Israeli. I mean, everything is Israeli. So they are planning for this since that time. I'm not sure who is the one controlling the penis of the leader of Hamas right now. It must be Netanyahu. Because as I know, the penis of the leader of Hamas is not moving. He is under the ground. He doesn't even dare to move it.
This is reality. And reality we share with you. All of them, they are coward. All of them, they shout, make too much noise. But when war come, everybody hide. Who dare to attack Israel? Here we go. Who dare? Hey, King of Jordan, look at this guy. Look at this guy. Look at those pictures. I think I think when they did the, the Photoshop for him, they took like a 10,000 pictures to come with this one. Look at this guy. I mean, when you see him, like, wow. And he wear his shoes, you know, the, the, the heels of his shoes is like 10 inch to make himself look taller, you know. Look at this guy. I mean, this Rambo. This is in the border. Hey, Rambo, do something. What about the Prime Minister of Pakistan, Pornistan? He have nukes. You know? One of the funny things about those Arab leaders is how much medals they put in their chest. I mean, you got those medals for what? Medallion. For what exactly? What you did? I mean, how many war you won? How many victory you did? What you did exactly? Who gave you all those piece of steels in your chest and they are made of gold. Like, look how many. I'm afraid that you might collapse, you and your son. Like, what is this? Are you okay? Can't you put more? I mean, come on, there's no, ch no, there's no space left in your chest. All of them are the same. Right? <sighs> right? Anyone? My friend, go and read Zechariah. You will see in Zechariah that nobody can, nobody. That J Jerusalem is the city protected by God. And not only that, Jesus, he said, you can destroy this temple and I can build it again in three days. He spoke about his body himself for he is the temple of all the Jews so nobody can destroy the temple of Christ and Christ he said I came to my people so they are named to be his people so if you are a Christian you believe in the Bible then you believe that the one who built the cities the one who built the Jerusalem the one who built all those cities are the Jews Unless you are a fake person who don't believe in the Bible. Anyone he claimed to be Christian and he denied that this land belonged to the Jews, he is a he is a fake Christian. All the Bible is saying that. Hey Christians, where where Jesus was crucified? <laughs> Even the woman who occupy the Jews at that time, they don't do things unless the rabbi approve it. This is why you see the crucifixion of Jesus was by the approval of the rabbi, not the ruler. The ruler is just doing their wish. This is the land of the Jews. Even the stupid books of Muslims, it says that the one who built the city and they built the temple is Solomon. He is the one who finished building the, what they call it, Al-Aqsa Mosque. So anyone who claimed to be Christian, like somebody told me there's a, there's a bishop in in uh, in Jerusalem, I think it's in Jerusalem. His name Atullah Hanna. This guy is a coward. And just to show you how hypocrite he is, do he dare to say what the Muslim did to us in that city when they occupy Jerusalem? Do he dare to read the Pact of Amr? Do he dare to tell us that he, they, the Muslim they force us to pay jizya and they treat us like dogs? So why he's barking against the Jews for he is a terrorist, is a coward, and he's getting money. Uh, if you go in the hadith you will see that even the Muslims they cannot deny that the one who built the, the, the what, what they call today Al-Aqsa it was uh, Solomon the son of David this is in their books can you believe it let me find you the reference because you know We show the reference and yet they say you're lying. So what, what if we don't show the reference?
Here we go. See, this is their prophet saying. This is their prophet saying that the one who built what they call today Al-Aqsa is Solomon. He is the one who finished, which means David started, but the one who finished it, it was Solomon. Do you see it? So when a coward he come and he start lying, says this is not the land, their land of the Jews, he is going against his own book. If he is a Muslim, and if he is going against his book, if he is a Christian or claim to be Christian. Do you see it? So even their books witness that this is a hand work of the Jews. Every rocks there witnessing that I was placed by the hands of the Jews. This is their books. And this is their false prophet Muhammad saying that. Their false prophet, he never said the word Palestine. He never said the word Palestinians. And the proof in front of you. Imagine I say to you that I am the one who built this house and then you claim that you are you own it. But I didn't sell it to you, no, we occupy your house. This is exactly what those Arab did. They came and they occupied the house of David, the house of Solomon, the city of David, the city of Solomon, and they claim it for them. They occupy the whole land and all the countries around it is the same story. The truth in front of you, only liars can deny what they see with their own eyes. Right? What Jews Israel belong to? Who crucified Jesus? Jesus, uh, okay. See here, you see the propaganda. In one hand, the Muslim, they say to you, the Jews did not crucify Jesus. In the other hand, because they want you to now to hate the Jews, they say the one who crucified Jesus. In the same time, they say to you, are they those are the same Jews? The question goes for you. Where is the Jews who was there? Are you saying to, to me, we killed them all? Because what you are saying, that those are not the same Jews. That means there's no Jews left who killed them, your prophet? Coward. And isn't it you Muslim you say in the year 700? After your prophet died, you invade this land with Umar al-Khattab, and before that there's no Arab? Our leaders are the same Arab, they claim to be Palestinian. How you can be Palestinian and Arab in the same time? So the hypocrisy is, they say to you that those Jews who they are there are not the Jews. Let us say for the sake of argument, only 10% of them, they are true Jews. Still, this is the land of the Jews, and they are the one who have the right who to welcome inside their house. Let us say there's only one Jew, real Jew, exists in this time. He is the only one who have the right over that land. I own the house. I am the only one who will come whoever I want in my house. And this is the land of the Jews. So the game of all oh, those blonde people, how they can be Jews? Our answer is very simple. They, they, they've been kicked out. They are mixed with many nations, but still they return their own inheritance. And just to show you how stupid you are, you claim to be a person who knows the Bible. Isn't it Moses himself, he married from a woman, she is not a Jew, and she is not from the nation of Israel? Still the children of Moses are children of Moses. Hypocrite, coward. Isn't it Abraham, he married from a woman, she is Egyptian? Still, the children of Abraham, they are children of Abraham. So if you are saying, if I am an Arab and I mix by marrying a woman, she is German, that's mean my Arab have no right to be called Arab, that's because you are a hypocrite and you are stupid. At least it will be 50-50. Very, very, very aggressive attack on the Jews. And there is many reasons for that. They are successful. They are smart. And they are, not all of them, most of them, the United. And they were able to do what nobody was able to do. And that all bring jealousy from us as Arab, from them as whatever they call themselves. This is the truth. Well, uh, United Arab Emirates and Saudi Arabia and Egypt uh, and Saudi Arabia, 
they will arrest any member of Hamas if he do any action or activities in their countries. Actually, if a member of Hamas come to United Arab Emirates, he will be arrested immediately. This is the truth. But in public, they, they say we support Palestinian, but we know that the reality is different. So my message for those who claim to be Christian and yet they are against Israel. You can be against Israel as a government. Like always, I talk negative about Netanyahu. But if you say that this land is not belong to the Jews, you are a liar and you are a fraud. And you are no Christian. I don't care for Netanyahu. I don't care for the government of Netanyahu. I don't care for all those things. But this is the land of the Jews. The book of the Muslims approve it. Our books as a Christian approve it. The Old Testament and even the New Testament. Anyone would come with something else. He is a fraud. He is no Christian. He is a person who is jealous. He is a person who is full of hate. He is a person who is fighting the truth. I just wonder if there is any atheist in Israel. Doesn't matter. Still, they are. You see, the ignorant is very funny. When you say atheist in Israel, still they are Jews. You know, you know what Jews mean, you idiot. Jews is not just a religion. Jews are you know, people are stupid, stupid. The word, even the word Jews, by the way, is wrong. Those are names of tribes. This is not about religion only. Like we say Jews, we mean people who believe in such a religion. But the fact it's not. It's both in the same time. For the Jews are ethnic and religion in the same time. So when you say there's no atheist there, what does this have to do with our topic? Atheists still, they are, they are Jews. In Arabic, we call them Yahud. Yahud is not only a religion, it is people. They are desperate. They do not know how to take them down, how to make them look bad. So there is no atheist in the, in, in, in Israel. There is atheist, there is gays, there is lesbian. <laughs> there is. For sure there is. There is people who make fun of the Bible too. But still they are considered Yahud. For them, this is the name of their... The, 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 the name is used to them. And again, this is a wrong name, by the way. But it's became very popular, like people of Judas, etc. You know, but this is still a name of an ethnic and religion in the same time. They are different from others. Like you can say Arab, but Arab not necessarily a Muslim. I'm an Arab, but not a Muslim. Arab is an actually even Arab is not an ethnic. Many people do not know that. There's nothing is called ethnic as an Arab. But usually those names are given to an ethnic groups. But in the case of the Arab, there's no ethnic, it's called Arab. That's a big fat lie, people, they say. Arab is a word coming from the Aramaic, which means savage. They just say when you say barbarian. So the Aramaic people who live in cities and they are civil, they call anyone who live in a tent, anyone who live in the desert, anyone who take a shower once a year, they call him Arab. And this is why you see it says Arabia. Arabia is a word meaning desert, does not mean ethnic. So when they say Arabian, it's mean a desert person. It's not an ethnic. But it is an ethnic for donkeys who do not know what they are talking about. Are you getting my point? When we say Aramaic, Aramaic mean what? Aram is those people who live in high hills or high mountains. Even that is not really a name of a nation as much it is a location where they live. So those are people who they are civil and their grandfather supposedly called Aram, so they called them Aramic. And then their language is Aramic. But even that name, it was about a location where they live, how they live. Same for the Arab. Arab are people who live in the desert. They are not ethnic. So if if, if the Aramic are exist today and they live in America, they will call somebody who live in Arizona and he live in a tent, they call him Arab. Uh, you are a propagandist for the Zionist. Okay, you can say whatever you want, but your God himself, he is a Zionist. Otherwise, why your God, he promised the Israeli, the Holy Land, just to show you anyone, they don't agree with him, they start giving him now, right away, they give him titles, you know, they try to bully you. Zionist. Do you know even what Zionist mean, you coward? Potato? Right now, go to the Bible and search for the mountain of Zion. 
idiot, stupid. You do not know what you are talking about. So anyone who support Israel, you have a propaganda of Zionism. Well, are you saying your prophet he is a Zionist because he just said the one who built it? If you ask Hamas, they will say this is our temple. If you ask Muhammad, he will say this is the one built by Solomon and his father David. If you ask Muhammad and ask Allah, he will say this is the land Allah assigned to the Jews. He must be Zionist too. Anyone he get them busted with the truth, he is a Zionist. When the fact they are number one Zionist in the world, nobody support the Jews as they do. And we can go or go back in history. You see, the Jews they were good to the Muslims because in certain time the Jews they were against Christianity. So the Muslims they gave them shelter as long as they are attacking Christianity. Like now, uh, what's his name? Toriva Singer. All the Muslims they love him. You will not find one Muslim he's against Toriva Singer. Why? Because he attacked Christianity. He don't never attack Islam. This is how hypocrite they are. So when the Jews were weak, they used them because they have money. They use them so they can go against Christianity. They give them shelter so they can debate the Christians and fight back. And let us say they resist the Christian Christianity from spreading. But when the Jews are strong and they took their land back, suddenly the Jews became number one enemy. The Jews are defeated. They are weak and they are our puppies, according to history. The Muslims, they love them to be puppies under our commands. So you will see the Caliphate, he have a Jew who is telling him what to do. The counselor of the king of the caliphate is a Jew. Why? Because the bunch around him, they are stupid. The only smart person is a Jew. So as long as you are under our wing, it's okay to be a Jew. We will not even kill you. As long as you are our puppy and you pay us money and you make us rich and you help us. The second you say, I want to make a state, I want to have my land back. That second you became an enemy to the Muslims. The Muslims are willing to forget about everything Muhammad said that time will come and the Jews will be killed by Muslims for the sake of business. Money. Money. Those people worship one thing. It's called money. Right? Wouldn't the state of Israel be smart to be yeah, but they cannot change the Quran right now. It's too late, as you see the Quran. You see, Muhammad, when he spoke at that time, he was trying to be hypocrite to the Jews, hoping that the Jews believe in him and they accept him as a prophet. So he said, you will go to heaven. He said, this is the land of your land. He said, all, all, all things, a lot of good things about the Jews because he was hoping that the Jews will accept him as a prophet. When... Muhammad did not receive what he was expecting. This is why Muhammad in the Hadith, he said, if only 10 Jews, if only 10 Jews believe in me, the rest of the Jews will believe. If only 10. And let me find you the reference. So Muhammad, he was desperate, trying to make the Jews accept him. But the Jews, they never do so, because they knew he's a fraud. See it? The Prophet said, had only 10 Jews, and between two brackets, among their chiefs. This is not true. 10 Jews. The Hadith doesn't say 10 chiefs of the Jews because they don't have 10 chiefs of the Jews. If only 10 of the Jews believe in me, then the rest will believe. There's a person keep asking me, are you from there? Are you, are you stupid? I mean, does that make a difference for you? Stupid people. Are you Syrian? Are you Lebanese? Are you Iraqi? Are you Palestinian? You have a diarrhea? What's wrong with you? Are you an idiot? Why? You want to marry me?
So if only 10 people believe on me, Muhammad said, the rest of the Jews will believe. So it was very hard for him to make 10 Jews believe. Big failure. He could not even make 10 Jews believe in him. This is how stupid he was. How obviously he was a false and fraud. Hmm? How many Muslims I was able to make them leave Islam? Thousands. Thousands. Muhammad he could not make 10 Jews accept him as a prophet. This is how foolish he was. Who is going to believe in such a person? His penis is controlled by the Jews. If you are saying to the Jews that my penis is not working because of the Jews, who is going to believe you anyway? A Jewish guy, he came to Muhammad and he asked him a question. He said, three things I will ask you. Nobody knows the answer for them except a prophet of God. Muhammad, he got excited. Okay, what the question? What the question? He said to him, what the first sign of uh, uh, judgment day? And what uh, is the first meal a person will eat in heaven? Meal? And then why the child he resembled his parents? And Muhammad, the genius, he said to him, Jibreel, he just told me right now. And the most funny part of this story, uh, when Muhammad he answered about why the child resembled the parents, he says, if the child, if the if the if the women have orgasm first, the baby will look like. Uh, if the if the father have orgasm first, the baby will look a boy like the father, and if the women have orgasm first, the baby will be a child female like the mother. Look at this. As for the child, the man, if the man discharge, proceed the women discharge, the, ch the, the child attracts similarity to the man. Look at the So the Jews, they were making fun of him. The Jews, they asked him the question about Alexander the Great. They said to him, tell us about Zulkarnayn, the man with the two horn, which is Alexander the Great, who used to wear a hat as, as, a, as a Roman king. Muhammad, he went to a room, you know, he went to his house, took him two weeks to Jibril to tell him the truth about what happened, brother. So he came back with a chapter 18, where it said the sun set in murky water. The Jews always, they get him busted and they make fun of him. And this stupid man, he always fell to the trap and later he noticed that they were making fun of him and he is a fool, but now it's too late. He made this chapter or he made these verses and he cannot claim that those are wrong because he said, Allah told me. So they asked him about Zulkarnayn, the man with the two horn. And by the way, if you ask Muhammad why he have two horn, he will say to you, because he was a Muslim and he came to his people, he told them to believe in Allah. And then they hit him with the hammer in his head. Boing, he got the first pimple and he died. Or the first horn. Then Allah resurrected him and sent him back again. And he came to his people and he told them to worship in Allah. And his people, they beat him again. And boom, he got the second horn. This is why they call him the man with the two horn. But this is a story, fiction story, written by a Syrian person about Alexander the Great, a king who wore two horn and he occupied most of the earth. Muhammad, he took his information, he took his information from there. Oh, and he, suddenly he made him a prophet. Look, he became a prophet. Verily, we established his power on earth, and we gave him the ways and the means of all ends. Look, Allah, he gave him those. And then he went in a way until he reached the sitting place of the sun. Can you believe it? <coughs> this is because of the Jews. So the stupid Muhammad was the joke of the Jews. They make fun of him and they made him say things. And later they may, you know, like, ah, you know, let us say they were bullying. It's kind of a bully of a fool, of a fake prophet. And then he claimed that this person continue, change direction. And he went and he found where the sunrise. Until he went, he came to the rising place of the sun, brother. But my friend, the sun rise everywhere. You do not need to go. And the sun set everywhere. I do not need to go anywhere. And the story in front of you, <clears throat> right? 
uh, somebody saying it's time for me to show my face and you love me bro why you want to see my that's that's fishy <clears throat> a man here love me and you want to see my face get out of here all those stupid comment are very embarrassment for those who make them I love you it's time to show your face be a man speak like a man what do you think about the Christian Zionist there's no, no such a thing there's no such a, you know those one you there's people they call themselves Zionist if they are a practical movement this is not a religious movement but if you are a Christian a Christian he believed that Jesus is our Lord he is born of the Jews Mary she was a Jew all the disciples of Jesus they were Jews and this is the land be belong to the Jews so if people they want to make a political movement out of belief this is their business however if their belief agree with the Bible their belief is true and correct who care Do Muhammad have real kids? As you see, the Jews control his penis, so how we can have kids? You see, there's a, a, a... But maybe this is a different topic. If you have my books, you will see that Muhammad, obviously, his penis never work. But maybe we're going to talk about it for now. Anyway. Yeah, you know, like if, uh, funny people, they say, oh, uh, why you don't show your face or why you want to see it? If you are a homo, go to San Francisco. If you are a man, I'm here to teach not to do fashion show. Somebody told you here I do fashion. And, you know, there's some people they are silly and stupid and we laugh at them. Right? They cannot answer me, so the only problem they have is show us your face. Show me your name, tell me your face. Yeah. But they cannot debate me, they cannot refute me. And supposedly, like they think by making those uh, arguments, they are the fox, they are the smart one. Who care? Who care what you say about me anyway? I mean, say whatever you want. I'm not a prophet. I'm a person wearing my short and my flip flap and flipping your prophet upside down without even showing my face. So imagine what I would do if I show my face then. Hello, I will get more support. I put to people. I, I put in the screen uh, uh, like a uh, uh, you know reference. It's, uh, still, people they come and they love it. But imagine if I show myself, because I look like a terrorist, that will make it a real show. Like the leader of Hamas, Christian Prince. You know? And by the way, when the son of Hamas, he converted, the son of the founder of Hamas, he became a Christian. Hey Muslim, do you want to see his face? <laughs> yeah, I'm black, blonde, African American from Japan. Who okay. care? Yeah, funny and uh, silly children talk. They don't even know how their prophet look like. But if you want to know how Muhammad look like, there's a video. You will die laughing at the description of Muhammad. All right. Uh, And all of them are willing to debate me if I come to debate them faith to faith, brother. But nobody want to talk to me over the phone, brother. Or Skype. <clears throat> and, you know, to be honest with you, this is how I see them. They are like eggs and they are afraid to be between my fingers because I will smash them. That's why they make all kinds of excuses to avoid me. 
eggs. No, no you know, for me, I went in. I do seminars. You know, I do seminars and present. Uh, I, I did tons of seminars. People they see me, but I don't like to be famous. And you know, this is the whole story. Otherwise, I don't care. You see, a person who is afraid, a person who is afraid, he will not make many books. He will not make thousands and thousands of videos against the filthy Muhammad. He will not even dare to say the word filthy Muhammad. Actually, if you go and see all those make videos against Muhammad, they don't speak aggressive as I do. Is it fine? Is it hard to find out who is a person? It's very easy. Yeah, I love. Come to me. Come to daddy. Let us see what you can do. But because they are afraid to debate me, they knew you know, they are no match for me. I'd love to serve and know I don't receive any glory for myself. The Lord, he says, you do, you know, don't let your right hand, your left hand to know what your right hand did. So I'm so happy to see a lot of Muslims leaving Islam. A lot of people see how stupid this cult is. And I receive no glory of my own. Wonderful. Uh, yeah, Muslims are asking China now for help. China, please, China, help us. Chinese, please, you know, yeah, what happened yesterday? They were making the videos against China. Lili, Lili Dawa, Mimi, Hijab, Susu, Dudu, all of them. China, brother, they are killing the Muslims. Even David Woody made a video about it, which is false, by the way. All those is fabrication against China, we know all the sanctions of America and Europe against China because they are trying to stop China from growing. They don't care for what Chinese are doing inside their country. Christians have no right there. How come suddenly everybody is defending the Muslims? It's an excuse, great excuse. Because if I am a Trump and I say the Chinese is not being just to the Muslims, or suddenly Trump is in love with Islam. Eh, hypocrisy, you know, this is just a joke. And now the Muslims are asking China to defend them. Right? Uh, anyway, I think we had enough uh, for today. Uh, don't forget to subscribe if you like our program. I will keep this video maybe for a little bit and then I will take it down as usual. Uh, how Muslims asking to help in the name of humanity. Yeah, but Muslims don't believe that we are equal, you know. The Muslims, they believe the Quran says so, the Hadith says so. Even in the punishment, if a Muslim, he killed a Muslim, the punishment is not the same for killing a Muslim. If a Muslim, he killed a Muslim, the punishment is death. If a Muslim kill non-Muslim, there's no death for killing non-Muslim. As simple as that. Unless the Christian who is killed is somebody is paying Hamas jizya, protection. And the reason they will punish you then because you kill the source of income to Hamas. You know what I mean? This is the truth. Yeah, I have to go. It's and I'm here for many hours. Actually, I, I was going to make a, a little, little short video. Maybe I should cut it off uh, and make it 15 minutes. But when the Muslim they say we are going to attack Israel, if I am you, I will laugh. Those people they support Israel, and I'm talking about their leaders. Erdogan is the biggest coward and the biggest liar. Nobody supports Israel as Erdogan he does. All his airplanes, all the chips, all the computer chips, all the software, all the boards is coming from Israel. He cannot live without them. All the steel, which Israeli, they are making to make bombs to hit Hamas now, is coming from Turkey. Erdogan the coward, he say about, he, he speak about the uh, red line, red line, but he don't dare even to close the embassy of Israel in Turkey. He didn't dare even to to uh, 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 to stop buying from them, have a relationship with them, or at least close the center of the Mossad. 
They have a huge center for the Mossad in the heart of Ankara and Istanbul and other, other, other Turkish cities. Turkey is a center place for the Mossad agency. A lot of information coming from Turkey because they have connection with ISIS, Al-Qaeda, the, the Syrian terrorist, the Afghan terrorist, Iranian terrorist, you name it. So they speak in the public, they say something, but in reality, it is the opposite. And those cowards, they will attack you only if you are weak. I will believe that those countries will attack Israel only if Israel is a weak country. Only. Because those people, they, they attack each other if they are weak too. Saddam Hussein, he got strong. He invade Kuwait. He want to invade Emirates. He want to invade Saudi Arabia. He want to invade Iran. This is what Muslim leaders, they do. All their history is a bloody history. They right away jump over their neighbor, but they will never dare to fight somebody strong. Erdogan, he will be so happy to fight Armenia anytime, but Erdogan, the coward, he will not dare to fart at Russia. He will not dare to fart at Israel. But Armenia, yes, bring it. He will be so happy, so he will make himself look like a hero. Like he is the one who brings victory. Little tiny country have no army. Poor country. So when you are poor, when you are weak, everybody want to step on you. When you are strong, when you are powerful, everybody kiss your shoes. That is reality. Right? Anyway, time to go. Again, I don't take side of anyone, but this is the land, the land of Israel, and God, he gave it to them. And if you try to take it away from them, you are trying to take it away from God. Good luck. Good luck. Actually, I challenge you to take it away from them. It's a challenge. I challenge every single Muslim leader to take Jerusalem back at least. When I say back, doesn't mean it belongs to you, but you used to occupy it before, right? Remember that Jerusalem today is under the control of Israel because the Muslims before, they gather from everywhere to launch a war against Israel. And the result, they lost Jerusalem. And yet the funny, they celebrate every year victory in that occasion. They lost Jerusalem. <laughs> and they celebrate victory. This is one of the funny thing about Muslims. Taliban was beaten by the American for the last 20 years. Soon you will see Taliban, Allahu Akbar, victory. The American left. When the American are, they are withdrawn by themselves. You don't even dare to attack them. This is what they do. The American there are for 20 years. And you cannot take the government. And you cannot do anything. Now the American will leave. They will claim to be victorious. And they will claim to be that. that they are the one who kicked the Israel. They left South uh, Lebanon. Allahu Akbar. Hezbollah kicked them out. You liar. We know what happened. They were withdraw. The they have no interest no more. They were there for 20 years. You could not get them out. <laughs> It's not like at attack them and during the attack they run away. No. They were the drone when nobody attacking. Nobody was attacking. So this is the nature of the Muslims. And now you will see, just count my words. When this is will end and the bombing will stop, Hamas will announce victory. Allah Akbar will destroy Israel. Allah Akbar will show them how. Uh, but in this moment, they are begging everybody, please, can you talk to the Israeli to stop bombing us? Please. You know? But after they stop, they will claim victory. Just wait. Right now, they are asking, they are calling Joe Biden, hey, Joe Biden, what's going on, man? Please do something. You know, you are, you, you are our God. And then Joe Biden, he says, you know the thing. You know? Hey, what? You know the thing. So for now, they are begging everybody to get involved. They call the French president, the Russian president, every president. And the funny is that none of their president is worth to be called. They called infidels to support the Palestinians. Like who is the one calling Erdogan to fix it? Nobody.
And the funny, there is a president supposedly for the Palestinian right now, but nobody called him. <laughs> I mean, the guy which should supposedly everybody should be calling right now is the last one to be called. Isn't it funny? But anyway, you know the thing. Joe Biden, he will come after a few days and he will say to you, you know the thing, there was a thing between the Israeli and the thing, the Palestinian, and because of things they were happening, so the thing is, uh, thank, uh, thanks uh, to, uh, uh, you know, the things, and uh, things now is better, so we think that things will stay as it is, and uh, things will be better in the future, and uh, thank you for listening to my thing, and you know the thing, all right? So it's uh, solved, and uh, yeah, you know, yeah. For me, I trust that the Israeli, they knew what they are doing. But I hope that next time a war erupt, the Israeli, they will have a real leader, not someone like Netanyahu. A leader who will teach the enemy how to behave for the coming century. Learn, Israeli, learn. You see, in 2006, when Hezbollah was shooting at you every day almost. Why? Because you were doing nothing. But when you attack back like hell, you open the gate of hell on them. Since that time until now, Hezbollah don't dare to fart. Actually, just a few days ago, somebody he shot like a rocket, which is funny, rocket went to the water. Hezbollah right away screams, says, it's not us. It's not us, okay, Israel, it's not us. We swear. It's not us. He was terrified. It's not us. Why Hezbollah is saying not us? Because they are afraid. They showed them in 2006 what war mean. So in order to stop terrorism against your country, you have to have a strong leader who treat the terrorists as they deserve and he will not care what the media will say about him. He will not care for election. He will care to bring peace to his country and his land, to bring victory to his land. Terrorists should be demolished. Don't negotiate with them. And now this is stupid Netanyahu. After all this noise he made, what happened? Nothing. He will force them to make an agreement not to attack, and they will stop attacking for the coming few years maybe. And then when they are out of money, they will attack again. Why you want to do that? Why you don't finish it now? Why every few years Israel have to suffer from this? The answer is very simple. Israel, until now, they don't have a real leader. They have a bunch of businessmen. And businessmen, they care only for business. Right? Uh, I will answer you, this guy, before I leave. But do me a favor, don't come here again. Because your question is like a diarrhea. You are literally a stupid. I answer you already. But because you are a stupid, you keep repeating the same thing. Maybe you ate too much hummus and you don't answer. You don't listen. Let me show you what this guy is saying. So we can laugh. To which Jews does the Holy Land belong to? Jews who crucified Jesus or Jews who accept Jesus as Son of God? You stupid, you just say Jews. So which Jews? Doesn't matter what the religion, even if he's an atheist. Stupid. I mean, are you sure that your mom, she was drinking milk when she gave birth to you? I mean, during the time she was carrying you in her... I don't think your mom, she was carrying you in your her womb. I think you were, you were in the stomach. Jews who did this and Jews who did that, they are the Jews, so they own the land, donkey. They are atheists, they are believers, they are Christians, who care? They are, those are the people who will, the land belong to them. Who is, which is Jews is the one who, the one who watch Mickey Mouse or the one who support Tom and Jerry? Stupid. Don't get married, okay? Your wife, she will fart on you second day and she will find a new boyfriend. Because she will say to you, which boyfriend you like more, the one I have now or the one I'm dating tomorrow? But both are boyfriend. Does it really matter? Idiots. 
and supposedly like he is giving me now a tough question like look at this question this guy he was squeezing his bum for the last hour and thinking deeply and he opened the books and he searched dictionary and he opened wikipedia and then he called joe biden and joe biden he gave him the question you know the thing and then he threw the question at me and now christian prince he have to go he cannot answer this this is very hard this is tough like which jew which jew huh which one What's wrong with those people? I mean, is women these days giving delivery or dropping poopo? I mean, are they delivering babies or poopo? It's the end of the time, poopo is talking. This, this is deep. But what? You know, the way I see you now is like this egg. Let me show you. This is how you look like for me when you ask those questions, silly. Is your tongue out now? Uh, is, is it? Idiot. They are desperate. They don't know how to refute us. This land belongs to who? Your Quran says it's a land with the Jews. Did you God Allah's Jews? He says the Jews who believe and the Jews don't believe. Did he say uh, Jews from America or Jews from Europe? Or oh, he said Jews. For your God, everybody is a Jew. In Islam, there is only two religion. The whole world is either Nasara or Jews. How stupid is that? All the Jews are the same according to your God. How come now you need the different Jews? According to the Quran, there's only two religions, Jews and Christians, and those Christians, they call Nasara. And Nasara, they believe that Mary, she is the Trinity. <laughs> ah, now I know why the Chinese, they say, is he left as a donkey, never come back as a horse. If you are a Christian, then you will not defend Jews or Islam because they are not worth of defending. Brown Sugar, he is saying this. Okay, Brown, thank you very much for what you are saying. My friend Brown Sugar, I advise you to change your name because your name will bring a lot of ants and you are silly stupid. A Christian person, he defend even Muslims if they are abused. A Christian, he defends even an atheist if he is abused. A true Christian, he defend anyone being treated unjust. This is not about Muslims or Jews. This is about we Christian. We have to say the truth. This land belong to who? To the Jews. If it belong to Muslim, I will say it to Muslims. So you are silly and you are stupid and you are a donkey. I mean, where those donkeys are coming to me from? Is that a penalty? You think God is punishing me? No, he's just giving us example of what he created. He created donkeys, he created monkeys, he created a human. And people, they choose what they want to be. You know what I mean? Uh, this person is saying this. Christians should not support Jews or Muslims, both they reject Jesus. This is first, it's a very funny, silly claim. Because in case you do not know, most of the Jews already are Christian Jews. So my friend, with my respect to you, I don't want to make fun of you, but you are ignorant. Because in case you do not know, the reason that the Jews now are small in number, because the majority already are Messianic Jews, which means they are Christian Jews. So this is number one. Number two, if they are against Jesus or not, Jesus, he forbid us from lying. The land belong to the one who owned the house. We don't change the owner by changing the religion. Does mean you don't believe in Jesus. So if the one who owned the land is a Jew and you don't believe in Jesus, does that mean we should deny him to own the land? In which teaching is that? And you claim to be a Christian? So now if a Muslim man, I borrow from him $5,000. And then I borrowed from him when he was a Christian, let us say. And then he became a Muslim. Then he come to me asking for the 5,000. I will say to him, you don't, 
I'm not going to pay you because you change your religion, you don't own the money no more. That is the most silly, stupid words ever. Don't say you are a Christian, my friend. You have nothing to do with Christianity. You have to read. I, I asked you, friendly, to repent and read the Bible. Jesus says either yea, yea, or no, nay, nay, which means you have to be always truthful. So the land belongs to the one who owned the land. Doesn't matter who. So now, are you saying to me we should deny that the Chinese own their land because they are not Christians, neither Jews? What's wrong with people? What kind of logic people have? People make me sick. Yeah, you do not know the Bible. Because the Bible telling you to be honest and to always to be truthful. So now because the Jews they don't accept Jesus, then we should not say the truth that this is their land? What kind of a Christian you are? Hypocrite. That is a false argument. Very false argument. A Christian person he should be always truthful, even with Muslims. Even with Muslims. No matter who is the one we are talking to. If a Muslim, he, he bought a house next to me, shall I go and take his house and say, oh, this is not your land because you are Muslim? That's false. So if somebody came to his house and want to take his house from him, should I defend the Muslim? Yes, I will. Because the Bible teaches us to be people of just. Go and read the Old Testament. Even if you find a donkey or a cow or an ox of your enemy, you send it back to him. You know nothing about the Bible, my friend. The Quran 2105. Guys, hold on, hold on. We, we got a Muslim here. He's trying to find the solution for the problem. Okay, hold on. As long as your name is Muhammad Ali from Speaker Corner, do you like to call me right now? I mean, come on, you are in Speaker Corner. Shall I open a uh, 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 pal talk for you? Speaker Corner guy? Okay, guys, he said the chapter 5. Be my witness. Chapter 5, verse number 105. Huh? He asked for it. Let us go there and love together. Hmm. And now don't say it is not you who choose it. Here we go. Are you sure you are quoting the correct verse? Go to 21. How many of you think that this guy will not accept what he just said to us? In two minutes, he will reject. <clears throat> All right, this is 105. I mean, what those stupid people are talking about? This is about the land of the, 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 to the, to the Muslims? <laughs> What did you eat, Speaker Corner Boy? This is the verse you chose for me? Quran 21, 105, saying that this land belonged to the Muslims? Stupid donkey. Where it says that? You don't even know how to quote the Quran, don't you? Hey, Abdul, are you there? It is the food you are eating, isn't it? Are you searching Google now? Did you quote for me a different verse, wrong verse? This is the verse which proved that this is the land of the Muslims? Where? Do you want to call me? He's playing dead now. He's saying to himself, like, how stupid what I did. What the heck? Hey, Speaker Corner, what's wrong with you? 
the land belonged to the worshipper of Allah. You don't even even you are not even caught in the verse where it says the land belonged to the worshipper of Allah. Secondly, the land be, belonged to the worshipper of Allah. That means China belonged to uh, uh, those who worship Allah. America belongs. So they are lying. Then, guys, do you see? Do you see how they they expose themselves? They claim that they are people of just. He just claimed that the Muslim own the whole earth. You see it? And, and he don't even know how to choose the correct verse. So search Google. Do you want me to give you the correct number for the verse, potato? And you are from a speaker corner? Are you sure? You are not from the bathroom corner? Because what kind of a speaker corner cannot even quote the correct verse from the Quran? Secondly, you strip it. As long as you mention chapter 5, verse number 105, let us go to chapter 5. Is it the Quran in verse number 21 says that this is the land Allah assigned to the Jews? Is that your Quran or not? Are you saying that Allah he chose, he changed, he changed his mind second day? Remember, this is the same prophet, the same time, the same period. So your God in the Quran says in verse number 21, Oh my people, <laughs> just get out of here, potato. Call me, call me if you like. Get out of here. As you see, this is the Quran, chapter 5, verse 21 says, Oh my people, enter the holy land between two bracket Palestine, which Allah has assigned to you. Who is talking, Moses? Do you see it? You are a stupid idiot. This is your God. Are you saying there's a contradiction? And as you see, those people, they are not following Moses because they reject what Moses said. So if you want to say to me, Allah, he gave the land only to the true believers, lie. Because those people did not agree with Moses to go for war. And then because they refused to kill the Palestinians, your God, he made them lose their directions for 40 years in the desert. Read it, Abdul. Do you see it? Potato. Do you see it? There's nothing belong to you, my friend. You see, this is what Islam is about. When the Muslims they say the land belongs to the believers, they are white supremacist cult, and they want to occupy the whole earth, and we will fight you in order to do that. I will never let you take my home. I will never let you occupy my country and keep that in your dream. And actually, I agree with you. When you say what you said, it is a clear sign that Islam is a devilish, satanic, fascist cult. This is why Muhammad, he said, that you are the best of mankind. And he explained that the best of mankind is those who bring non-Muslims with the chain around their necks. For Islam is a very fascist. They believe every Muslim is higher than non-Muslim and he have the right to enslave every human being. And that's why they say to you, the land belongs to those who believe in Allah. So the Muslim, they are saying, the land of China belongs to us, Japan, Russia, Italy, France, all the world. And they don't even hide it. They say Islam will dominate the earth, right? So Islam is a fascist, very extremely fascist, supremacist, disgusting hateful cult build in one believe that we are the best and you are animals and because of that they have the right to put a leech around your neck and bring you as a slave so thank you for saying what you just said because that to prove our point the jews are struggling to fight against the most aggressive fascist nazi this is why they supported hitler this is why the biggest brigade of killing Jews, it was a Bosnian brigade. This is why the sheikhs or the imams of the Muslim, they met with Hitler. This is why number one publishing book in the Middle East is the book of Hitler. They love him. I remember in the Middle East, you go inside like a bakery store, you will find the picture of Hitler. But what do you have to do with Hitler? We have to do with Hitler. We share the same belief. This is what the Muslim believe.
His point is the land belonged to the Palestinian, but there's no Palestinian at that time to belong to Palestinian. <laughs> you see, at that time, there's no Palestinian Muslims. So if that verse is about the Palestinian, that means it's a stupid verse because there's not a single Palestinian was a Muslim at that time. Are you getting my point? They are foolish. If they want to say that this is was a verse for he was talking to Moses, and the believers is only three believers: the Arab, the Nasara, or supposedly Christians, and the Jews. That's it. Palestinians are not Muslims. And as you see, he's attacking them. He's asking the the, the Moses to attack the Palestinians. Why? Palestine belonged to the Jews, not Israel. Well, that is another stupid statement. Let us show you the stupid statement. Because when you say it belonged to to, uh, to the Jews, not to Israel, you are just an ignorant because even your God, Allah, he keeps saying the children of Israel. Allah recognized always the Jews as the children of Israel. So your God, Allah, he recognized the land by the name of Israel. And he recognized the people of it. So if you are saying to me the Jews are not the Israel, that's mean Allah is a stupid. So if Israel does not exist, and Israel is not a nation, why he keep calling them children of Israel? Stupid is amazing. Christian population there disappear because they they are under the occupation of Muslims for 1400 years. You know, you know our holy church, our holy church. If you have my books, you will read that the Muslim they close our holy church where the empty tomb of Jesus, and they they call it in Arabic Kamisatul Qumama. You see, in Arabic we say Qiyama. Qiyama means resurrection. Qumama means garbage. The reason was called Qumama, they closed that church, they shut it down, and all the garbage and the trash was, they throw at, at the church. So for centuries, our holy church became a, a place where they throw their garbage. This is what the Muslim did to us. Go and read the Pact of Omar and see how they treated the Christians there, like dogs. Even dogs, they treat them better. So any anyone who claimed to be Christian, he support those terrorists. He's not only a fabricator, liar. History prove him liar. Bible prove him liar. He is no Christian. He's antichrist. Anyone, he do that. Doesn't matter if they hate Jew, they hate Jesus or not. Look, 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 look what they say. Look what they say. Look, just to show you how Muslim they try to make you hate the Jews. Look at this. A lady, her name is Muslim saying. Orthodox Jews hate Jesus more than any other religion groups. Their Talmud blasphemy him. Will you Muslim you hate Jesus too? You say he is just a man. You say that Muhammad is going to have sex with his mother. The biggest insult to anyone. What do you think if I say to you I'm going to have sex with your mother? Is that respect? What if somebody says I want to have I want to f the mother of Muhammad? Is that how you respect him? So. Muhammad is the most filthy, aggressive against Jesus. He tried his best to demolish the name of Jesus. But in for the sake of hate, you remind us that the Jews is against Jesus. But you forgot that nobody is against Jesus as you are. You are the one who took our churches. You are the one who destroyed them. You are the one who forced the Christians into conversion to Islam unless they die or they pay. It's not the Jews. And yet you claim that the Jews are bad. There's billions of people don't believe in Jesus. Should we kill them? No. So your hate go back to you, Mustima. Your hate go back to you.
Nobody insult Jesus as much as Muslims they do every day. Every day. And people are free to believe or not. There's billions of atheists. Should we kill them? No. Who said to you that we should hate people because they don't believe in Jesus? That's not our belief. This is your cult. This is your garbage. Muhammad garbage. You hate anyone don't believe in Muhammad. Jesus said, I came for the sick, not for the healthy. Don't you sympathize? I sympathize with the truth, not with religion or a group. You are a hypocrite again, like your father, Muhammad. Don't you sympathize with the Christians, Arab Christians? Why I will? I am going to take side only with the truth. Anyone who says something additional, far from the truth, I will expose him. He is a Christian, he is a bishop, he is a pope, I don't care. But because you, you side with your own kind, you have no dignity. You change your opinion in the speed of light. So now if the Muslims occupy Jerusalem, and the one who is occupying them, let us say Turkish, and by the way, the Turkish, they occupy them forever, right? But you never complain, because they are Turkish, brother. The Albanian, they were controlling Egypt for more than a thousand years. Imagine, the king of Egypt is an Albanian. Just because he's a Muslim, it's okay. This is the truth, hypocrites. You people are hip people of hypocrisy. Turkish rape your women, kidnap them. Occupation. Ask anyone or go and read the books of history. Why? Because the Ottoman, they were kidnapping all the beautiful women. Doesn't matter if they are Christians or Muslims. The Ottoman soldiers, they walk in the street. If they see a woman, she is young and beautiful, they kidnap her. He don't even care. He just grab her, put her on a horse, and he take her, and you will never see her again. It doesn't matter if she is a Christian or a Muslim. This is the truth. This is why at that time, when the Ottoman they occupied the Middle East, all women wear burqa, including Christians. Young women don't leave the houses, only old women. People, they make their doors so small so the Turkish would not go inside the houses with their horses kidnapping the women. This is the truth. And the truth hurt. You will not see Israeli soldiers kidnapping Muslim women, raping them. But Muslims, they do that. Go and see what they did in Syria. How many women are raped? Go and see in Iraq. Go and see in Libya. Go and see. You will not find one Israeli soldier raping a Palestinian woman. And if ever such a thing happened, this person will be punished severely by his own government. So you are being hypocrite, but nothing new. You are the same as your father, the devil. That is the truth. You reject believe in Jesus for Jews, but believe that there is land according to Tana. Yeah, I know what people are saying, stupid people. Jesus is for everybody, not only for the Jews. That's why the Bible says, for God, he loved the world. He sent his only begotten son. And Jesus, he said, I have sheep in other than this place. And Jesus, he sent his disciples to teach and preach the whole world. And what does have to do with owning the land? The one who owned the land, if he is an atheist, if he is a Jew, if he is even a Hindu, he owned it, that's it. Stupid people, disgusting people, they cannot come with the truth. So you see, they are trying to corrupt us, make us believe that we should support only those who believe in Jesus. We should support only those who believe in God. So they are asking us to be unjust and yet claiming to be Christians. That is not a Christianity. Christianity when, when they asked Jesus about paying tax, Jesus said, give to what to Caesar to Caesar and what to God to God. Which means always be truthful. 
Don't be hypocrite. When they ask him, should we pay tax to Caesar? They were trying to trap him, supposedly. He, saw, he asked him, can you show me the coin in your pocket? The coin have the image of Caesar. So the hypocrite, they carry the image of Caesar, but they don't want to pay tax to Caesar. Give what to Caesar to Caesar. This is the money have his image. The second you carry it, it's mean you accept it. And all of you, you accept the dollars. And yet you hate America. And all of you, you have your money in dollars. Yet you hate America. And all of you, you buy from Israel. And yet you claim you hate the Jews. Double standard, people. Very double standard. Right? A Christian person, he take no side except the truth. Jesus said, I am the truth. I am the truth. So if you choose any other side beside the truth, you are not following Jesus. If somebody you own the land, you say he own the land. Doesn't matter if he hate Jesus or not. So what? He hate Jesus. Okay. But still, he is the one who owned the land. If somebody, he loved Jesus, but he don't own it. You tell him, you don't own it. So what if you love Jesus? If you love Jesus, you cannot be a thief then. How you claim the land to you when this is not your land? Do you understand? So a true Christian is the one who takes no side because of a name or religion or uh, 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 like agenda, you take a side only of the truth. Never take a side. A Christian person should be always a Christian person. How many videos I made against Jewish rabbis? You so many, right? Okay, I'm taking side. No, this is about religion. He believe wrong. I correct him and I spank him too. But if the Jewish rabbi is debating me, and he asked me, he's supposed to trying to prove me wrong, and he said to me, Christian Prince, the land is the land of the Jews or not, I have to admit, I say yes. You don't win an argument by lying. If you do that, you are just the same as all the Muslims, they do the, the same game. They ask the Muslim, do Allah have parts? He say no. In different videos, they say yes when they are in private, talking to each other. Do Allah have hands? Who said so? We don't do that. So if I am debating a Muslim or debating a Jew, because both of them didn't agree with me, I have to be truthful. Changing the person or his religion will not change the fact that always we have to be you know, truthful when we speak. Will the Muslims and the Jews follow the Dajjal? There's nothing is called Dajjal, my friend. This is one of the fiction of Muhammad. The Muslims do not have Antichrist. I think you are mis misunderstanding because Muslims, they put the word Antichrist in their translation. There's no Antichrist in Islam. A Dajjal is not the same person. Muhammad is just a person who copy ideas and he adds some spice on them. All right? Anyway, uh, let us see. Even your friend Sam Shamoon said Orthodox Jews are most blasphemy. So what? <laughs> Just to show you, Muslim, how stupid you are. And allow me to say the word stupid. So, here we go. I will put it in the screen. And. What does this have to do with the Jews on the land? <laughs> see how stupid you are? They are desperate. They want you to hate the Jews, hate them. You see, even those who insult Jesus, we don't hate them. Jesus himself, he said to those Orthodox Jews, forgive them, Father, they do not know what they are doing. So you are silly, like your prophet, who said that you are half in half a brain. Half a brain, this is what Muhammad said about Muslim women. What a shame. Jesus himself, he loved them. Even those who they are calling him names. In his present, not when he is not with them. In, his, in the front of his face. 
about stupid people your hate blinded you Muslims your hate to the Jews blinded you and don't tell me that you love us more you hate us way more actually I guarantee you that Muslims they would love to have 100 times more close relationship to the Jews more than the Christians because they believe the Jews are not risk the Jews don't try to convert people into their belief Christians they will cowards like their prophet anyway guys time to go and I'm going to delete this video it was funny to see Muslims making warning and I find them very funny warning because we knew you you talk too much you do nothing you are the same as your prophet your prophet when he was weak he was a potato he was a rabbit and all of you now are weak this is why nobody believe your warning rabbits nation and burqa hypocrites all of you you hate Hamas all of you not a single country of you will give a visa to Palestinian not a single one of you you forbid them from coming to your land you forbid them from having work visa student visas is that because you love them in the same time all of you you welcome Jews to come all of you you open your borders to American Christians anyone but no Palestinians so we know your hypocrisy and we know your double standard and we know that you are people who say something and you wish the opposite those Arab they hate the Palestinians this is the truth they hate them to death if you go and see in the war in Lebanon how the Shia in Lebanon they made the Muslim Sunni Palestinian eat their own flesh they surrounded them they cut the water on them they cut food on them and those Palestinians when they die they eat each other if you don't believe me and go and search search for the camps of the Palestinians surrounded by the Shia militant but now the Shia militant Allahu Akbar Palestine Allahu Akbar defend Palestinians but nobody killed Palestinian as they did the same as the King of Jordan go and search for the black black of black September how many thousands of Palestinians slaughtered by the King of Jordan same in Syria same in Egypt same in Iraq same in Kuwait all of them they claim they love them but the fact is the opposite reality hurt truth always hurt and Muslims and Islam is anti-truth the second you tell them the truth they go crazy they go in denial because they cannot handle the truth you see all those are crying for Palestinians they will never take a refugee to their country Egypt just for like for the sake of the president just to make himself look better he opened his borders for the injured and they will send them back right away after they put some cottons on them they will not let them stay they are the one who surrounded them and they closed the borders on them they don't even allowed food to go through who Egyptian Islamic government this is the truth and always always they try to make you as a Christian hate the Jews too so don't fit into that trap we Christian we don't hate and we will not hate regardless of the religion of the person we hate lies we hate evil we hate violence we don't hate a person because of his religion we try to save the person but they try their best to make you hate the Jews they will remind you says don't you know that the Jews killed Jesus how you support the man well Jesus himself is born of the Jews shall we call Mary shall we kill Paul Peter should we kill all the disciples of Jesus because they are Jews too so lying they speak about the Jews that all of them they are evil there's evil everywhere there's bad there's good everywhere there's good between the Arab there's bad between the Arab 
there's good between the Jews, bad between the Jews. And who said the Christians are they are good? Actually, majority of all nations are full of madness. If you go around you and see who is a good person in a city, in a whole city, maybe you will find maybe few thousands. The rest are criminals. Just say right now, there's no no banks have security, and see how many they will attack the banks. Just say there's no security in a city, and see how many will attack grocery stores. All the world they claim dignity, claim to be truthful, claim to be religious, but in reality, reality check, the truth is the opposite. People respect the law because they fear the law, not because they respect it. Few people will not steal because they believe in not stealing. Few only. Few they will not rape because they believe rape is wrong. But there's many they want to rape, they wish to rape, but they knew the punishment is harsh, so they don't do it. Not because they don't want to do it. So the whole world is a world of hypocrisy. And then they give you speeches about good and bad. Suddenly the Jews are evil and they are the good. Go and see their countries. There's no human right. There's no even freedom of speech. You can't even say two words. A person, he posts something in Facebook, he will be arrested and he will be disappeared, him and his family. And nobody even know why. That is Islamic countries. In Israel, you can even scream. You will see a guy in the middle of the parliament of Israel saying, Allahu Akbar, and he's praying to Allah and nobody stop him. Can a Jew do that in Islamic parliament? <laughs> Can even a Jew be a citizen? So they want you to hate them. But the Jews, after all, they give everybody freedom. You will see, go to right now to YouTube. You will see a Christian preacher shouting at the Orthodox Jews in Jerusalem, saying to them, repent to Jesus. And nobody beat him. But they can, they are the majority. They can kill him easy. I can show you right now tons of videos in YouTube of a Christian preachers in Jerusalem shouting at the Jews, saying to them, repent to Jesus. I don't see any Jew when I kill him. Can I do that in Saudi Arabia? Can I do that in Pakistan? The truth hurt. A coward religion like Islam speaking about the freedom and the human right. But yet you cannot find any of that in their religion or in their countries. Find me one Islamic country, know something is called a human right. But nobody speak about a human right as they do in TV. Erdogan, he has tens of thousands of prisoners just because it's agree with him. Journalists, teachers, even the garbage guy. Turkey out of jails, execution. He sent assassination to kill the, the, the activists of the Kurdish in, in, in Germany, in France. Oh, not to mention Iran. Oh, not to mention Saudi Arabia. Even the guy who go there to get a permission to get married, they made him shish kebab. Oh, not to mention Pakistan. If somebody says something against the Quran, he will be slaughtered immediately. All of them, they are, you know, they, they love humanity. They are so good. They love a human right. Very wonderful people. But in reality, they are the most evil, those leaders. They hate a human right. They kill a human as killing cockroaches. And they claim that Israel is the bad person or the bad country. And this is why I say, first, I am as a Christian, I believe Israel deserve to be exist because simply I'm not the one who gave it the right to be exist. They are nation and they have a land and this is their land. And all the histories, all books, even Islamic books prove that this is their land. Same time, Israel is a country, have a system, have a law. There's a freedom of speech, there's democracy. You can say whatever you want. Like any Western countries are even better. In Israel, even the prime minister, he might go to jail if you do wrong. And you will see this Netanyahu will go to jail. 
Actually, the ex president, he is in jail. Nobody's above the law. Which Islamic country you can do that? So, my friend, here you see another uh, example of this liar. He says, This is the land of the Jews who accepted Jesus. This is a Muslim person, is a liar. Because if this is true, then God will not promise those who don't believe in Jesus in the land. God, he spoke about them that I will gather you from around the world in the end of the time. And this is in the Old Testament. So be aware of those Muslims who use, they come to you with a fake identity. We Christian, we support the Jews regardless if they believe in Jesus or not. And we are not supporting them because they are Jews. We are, we are supporting that they are the one who own the land. So be aware of those false people who try to make you hate them. Those are Muslims, they go and they claim to be Christians. The same they do to make a Christian, Protestant and Christian Catholic fight. They come with names and they start saying things so you, so they, they will find some fool. Right away they jump into the devil fight. So my friend, at the end of the day, I say to those people who hate Israel, you like it, you don't like it, it's their land. You like it, you don't like it, go and take it if you're there. You are a coward, you are a potato, you are a tomato, and you are a person who shout too much, but you do nothing. The land is there, Israel is there, and if any one of you have little penis, show it. I'm sorry to say that language. If any of you have little penis, all of you who hate Israel, show it. Cowards. The little penis of Erdogan will not help you. He's so little. Actually, I believe Erdogan, all of him is a little penis. All your leaders are little penis. Because you don't talk, you spit. And your spit is exposing you. Cowards. When those leaders will man up and show us that there are people who believe really in what they say, can they? Do you think that God who brought the people of the Jews? Well, I believe that nothing can happen unless God he approve it. And I believe that God he will have a he have a plan for all you know, uh, anything have to do with Jerusalem, there's a plan for it. Jerusalem is a very special city. And the Bible mentioned that many times. So I know, anyway, I say to those people who they are following their penises, actually, even Muslims, when they believe in God, they don't believe in God, they believe in penis. Why a Muslim want to do jihad? So he, he so his God will give him an endless penis and a lot of vagina. Even their jihad is not for the sake of the land, for the sake of penis. 70 years orgasm it's a penis religion and all what i see around is just a bunch of penises making comment claiming to be leaders and kings but in reality none of them there to show his penis to israel i mean don't the president of pakistan have a long missile how long it is hey prime minister of pakistan is it longer than your penis use it how come you want to threat India? And I know you don't there. I mean, just talk too much. Last time you have a war with the Indian, they made you shish kebab. Go. Israel is way smaller than India. Go ahead. Show it. This is the truth. Big mouth, all of them. But in reality, they are potatoes. Uh, anyway, it's time for us to go. And uh, the one who says I cannot find the hadith 4599, I made a video about it, search it, and you can find the reference. I do not need to make an answer to the same thing twice, three times, five times, six times, seven times. 
go associate uh, so if you are a Christian and they try to make you believe that this is not the land of the Jews they are fooling you a Christian person who takes side with no one except the truth you don't take side with the Jews because they are Jews you take side with the Jews when they are right you take side with the Muslims when they are right you take side even with the atheists when they are right so owning a property or a land should not be changed because of religion change the owner is the owner that is the truth and Israel is the land of Israel as simple as that those are the Israeli so thank you all for being here again as you know I don't keep my videos because my videos are very very beloved by YouTube and they will not stay here any for long anyway so I prefer not to give them the honor of taking it down I take it myself it's my pleasure thank you God bless you and until we see you again soon Christ is Lord Islam is false and we get them busted each time we go live on air take care